Good morning. How are we? Uh, we've got a munch stepping in today as floor manager, and he has a bit of difficulty with his, with his numbers. And when we know it's 15 seconds to go, they start counting out 15, 14, and he's supposed to do this, and he got all his fingers all confused. He didn't know what number he was pointing. How are you? How are you? We're all very well here today. Fabulous day today. We've only got Lucy and Joe all in one day. I know. Woo -woo. I know, it's fantastic, isn't it? Mind you, I hope she perks up a bit. Old diva Lucy has been a right old misery guts all morning. In oh, she's put a smile on now. She's, you're very happy to be here, aren't you? Oh, yeah. She is, she is. Anyway, I've got a gorgeous day. Look at this. Have a look at our menu. Here it is. Now, we're not doing a fancy one today. Just straightforward, complete quilting. 8 a.m. quilt block showcase. Now, that's... Uh, Lucy doing this uh, lovely little cushion. Oh, well, I'll tell you about it in a minute. Nine o'clock on a roll, 10 o'clock nautical uh, baby quilt, and then 11 o'clock railroad crossing, railroad crossing quilt block. Uh, it's easy for me to say not. Uh, it's lovely flying geese, that one, lovely little flying geese. Anyway, it's gorgeous. Stay with us, stay with us. We've got something for everybody in the next four hours, and we want you to get in touch. You know, I've got my um, tablet there now. We, not, not, you know, my... Uh, and your messages come straight through. Your messages come straight through. So what you need to do is the easiest way to get a message through to us is go to our website, www.sayingquarter.com. Yeah, there it is. Uh, and then you click on uh, watch. It's watch today's show. And then what you do, right, before I go down to tell you about the message, look on the right-hand side there where it says add to basket. When we are showing uh, an item that we're selling, it will come up in that, right, now that's one of the next, I don't know how many of those are left because there are only 50 of those, do double check. Um, just click on that add to your basket and then pop it in your basket and uh, make sure you check out. That's all I'm saying. Do make sure you check out. We do have this... Um, uh, feature where we only do one post back the whole day no matter how many times you check out even if you buy a sewing machine and then fabrics and a scissors it's just one pmp for the whole day right so if we just scroll down the page a little bit there you go you see message to the studio there there's a little square there uh, and you can send your message there but what happens is, is you can get a, like two sentences in and then it cuts you off uh hannah only ever writes hello hello john uh, but you can send your message there and it comes straight through to Hannah and she'll forward it to our um, little tablet on the desk. Or, of course, you can send an email, which is studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. You can send pictures to that one as well and any other messages that you want. That, obviously, that one's... Um, you can send longer messages to that one. Now, as you can see, peeking at the bottom of your screen there, we've got products from today's show. In a minute, that will all disappear and all of today's items will appear there as we introduce them to you. Now, they stay there all day long. So if, you come, if you're coming home from work and it's six o'clock and you're exhausted, you think, well, I'll just have a look what John's had today. You can scroll down there and you can see all the products that we had. That's all yesterday's, but you'll see all of today's products and that stays there till this time tomorrow morning. So when Natasha's introducing it tomorrow, you'll see all the items that I've had today. Now, remember, there's only one post in packaging for the whole day, £2.95. So each time you check out, don't don't worry, you will, uh, it'll uh, consolidate it at the end of the day, midnight tonight, you will only pay one post and package of £2.95 and to be with you within four to six working days. It's fantastic, isn't it? Right, let's get on. Oh, I've got some lovely fabrics for you today. Really, really lovely. Now, this is what Lucy's going to be doing in the first show. And it's, um, it's so cute. It's from this little uh, bookazine. Now, I wonder why my screens always go off this time of day. They just disappear, don't they, Lucy? Oh, back now. Uh, it is, I think it's just a just to throw me. Uh, now, it's from this little uh, bookazine, which I'll show you in a second. But before I do that, I want to show you all the bundles of fabrics, because there's lots of them. Um, oh, I haven't got a favourite. You know, normally I've got a favourite. I have no favourite. They're, they're all my favourites. So where would you like me to start? At this end. Monaco. I'm, I'm only going through them quickly now. We'll come back halfway through the show and go through them properly with you. So this is Monaco. Uh, two and a half metres of fabric, excuse me. Two and a half metres of fabric. So you get the hearts in diamonds there. You got the um, spot on. Then you get like charcoal, grey and white there. Really lovely. I'll go through them properly with you later on. Uh, that is a lovely bundle, isn't it, right? Then... Oh, you want, you want to just make it go in order, right? OK. Then there's this one here. Now, you get white in all of them for the background. You do get white in all of these. So this one, you get a lavender. This is called blue and purple, surprise, surprise. Lavender, blue, blue spot on, and then a big, lovely... Um, we like this. We like this. We don't think we've seen this one before, but we love that colour range. OK? At £19.95, two and a half metres of fabric, remember? Let me just move that along there. 
This is nice. This must be teal, is it, or peppermint or something like that. Again, you get the white. It's what? Oh, it's teal, there you go. Now this one, you get the linear print, you get the spot on, and then you get the two solid fabrics there. I'd say, like spearmint and a kind of um, jade, and then the optical white. 1945, sorry, 1945. Oh, that was the year Lucy was born, I think. We'll check in a minute. Uh, and then, this is nice. This is nice, you've got the linear orange here, you've got the yellow spot on, you've got the bright yellow, you've got the orange, and you've got the white. They're nice, aren't they? No, uh, that's the one that Lucy's going to be um, demonstrating on now. £19.45. And, and then, now you see, I said I haven't got a favourite. I'm thinking this might be my favourite. This and monochrome, I think, are my favourites today. Yeah. T Tan uh, Tanner. <laughs> Not Tanner. Hannah likes the teal. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, isn't that lovely? So you've got the, um, is that a cuckoo's calling, that one? Then you've got the fuchsia, the pale pink, the dusky pink. I think that's called antique pink. And the optical white. That's a lovely one, isn't it? Uh, oh, and now apparently my favourite one is limited. Now, um, the reason you've, you've got all those colours is you need to ombre. So let's go over and talk to Lucy. I was going to throw this at you, but I knew I'd get told off. I know, I'm off. so glad that you didn't. <laughs> I was prepared for it. How was, are you, Peggy? I was hoping. Mwah. I'm mwah, very She's been well, in makeup brows, I haven't seen her, you see. They Thank haven't you. finished, obviously. <laughs> um, this book is this little book is in. It is fabulous. Yeah, you've got so many quilt blocks in there and it shows you how to construct quilts as well. So you've got a couple of different sampler quilts in there. So everything that you need. First time on there, it's a premiere, premiere, premiere. The ultimate quilt block collection. I'll just flip through the pages for you because what I love is Look at this. You see, look at this one here. I mean, I'm only on page one, right? I'm only on page one. We're doing that block in there, but look how fantastic that is. So all of these blocks are in this bookazine, aren't they? Yes. All of these blocks. So it look, this is a different one. This is a completely different one here. It's just fantastic. All the instructions, how to do it, are all in there, how to lay it out. Origami box, that's nice. Origami box remix. I think each one has a remix, so she shows you how you can oh, um, oh, use yes, the fabrics what? differently. So it's a really good way of thinking about how oh, you use your fabric. That's what as we're well. doing. Oh, sweet sunshine. That's a sweet nice sunshine, name, isn't it? Yeah. Are we doing the sweet sunshine remix? No, we're doing the sweet sunshine. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. Oh, that's fine. So it's the same, yeah. but different. Oh, I like that. That's nice, isn't it? Anyway, carrying on, uh, we've got the twirling baton. Uh, Starlight. I mean, so much for seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Now you were saying something about at the back. Look at them all. They're just adorable, aren't they? Um, Rick Rat Remix. Rick Rat Remix. Uh, they're just fantastic. But were you saying at the back there was something more? If you, now, if you're if you're thinking, oh, oh, <coughs> they're too, they're far too advanced for me. Did you say at the back there was some there was some simpler methods? To, yeah. Look, sorry. There's that one. There's that one called Block Party. All the different blocks in there. Oh, look, because there's ours and there's the... So all the ones you've just seen on those pages, the remixes, there's ours and it's remix. So you can mix them or you can do a quilt with all of them, couldn't you? Yeah, that's the great thing about it, is it's not just one quilt. You can mix it up however you like. Yes. If there's one block you particularly <gasps> like, you can put them together. Naughty Nancy. <laughs> so what would yours be? Something Lucy. I'll have to think. I'll have to, oh, they just said in the gallery, Loopy Lucy. Oh, that's, that's very not kind. very nice, is it? <laughs> Lovely Lucy, someone else has just said. So you've got all the templates in there as well for the blocks when, where you need them. How, I mean, this is, uh, this is brilliant. So much information for £7.99. And, and then towards the back, you've got um, just pieced blocks that are slightly simpler, easier for, for beginners to do. Um, but all the instructions are really thorough. You've got all the little guides there showing you exactly what to do. So is Darling Dorothy flying? Is that, are they flying, flying geese? geese? Yes. Oh. Yeah. I think this is brilliant. For seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. So these are some of the pieced ones. Yes. So there's no templates for. No. 
for those ones. They're the piece ones. So they're the, they're the, oh, excuse me, they're the, like, patchwork ones. And then the ones at the front, these ones, these are that, what, that we're going to do, the foundation. We're doing foundation, foundation. page, the piecing. But then what you have to do is obviously photocopy your pattern. So if we're doing this one, we're doing sunshine, yes. aren't we? Let me just go to sunshine here. Uh, no, no, but they're the same. They're the same. So, yeah. so this is the page that you need to photocopy a few times, isn't it? Yeah, and that's the full-size template. So whether you do the remix, which is that one, or the one that we're doing, which is just, just, just the sweet sunshine, then, because it's the same thing. If you look, it's exactly the same. But what they've done is where the white is there, they put pattern there, and where the pattern is there, they put white there. Oh, I'm so sorry. My nose is so itchy today. Uh, anyway, should we make a start? Because there's, there's a few techniques you want to show us. Yes, there? there is. Uh, so if you want to know about the sewing box, I'll tell you about that in a second. Oh, no, I need, I need so many things to... <laughs> no, that's not going to work. Yeah, I'll need a book. <laughs> yes. OK. Just put it there. Yeah, we'll get munched. Sort um, of. Any questions you've got for Lucy? You're happy to answer yes, them, aren't you? Yes, very yeah, happy. Right. Yeah. OK, off you So go. there's a couple of techniques in this one. There's um, some foundation paper piecing, but very, very simple. Just straight lines, nothing complicated at all and then we cut out the pattern, and then we've got templates, we're gonna do a bit of curved sewing okay, as well. So in the first section, we'll cover the foundation paper piecing, yes. and then in the second section, we'll do the curves. Yes, yeah, so these are just templates for the curves. You're not actually using, you're not sewing the papers together, oh, okay. because obviously you need some give in the, in, um, okay. the piecing there. So it's just this one little section that's foundation paper okay. piece. So um, I've already cut out uh, the pieces right. that, that are needed. So obviously all the measurements are in there. And what's nice about this is Lynn gives you um, the measurements. Who's Lynn? The author of oh, who designed talk, talk, all the talk she designed all the blocks. I do know her. Is that her there? Yeah, that's I Lynn. think I've met her. Lovely Lynn. This is Lynn here. Oops. Oh, I'm sure I know Lynn. Have we met Lynn? I think we've met Lynn. Do you know her? I've met her, yeah. I bet she'll be at the festival cool. She's lovely. She, oh, I'm sure she will be. So she gives you all the all the measurements in there that, that are needed and so that you can cut it down. So you don't have to worry about is it going to fit perfectly because the, the measurements that she gives you are perfect. And yes. then you just trim. So um, we start off with the foundation paper piecing. We're, we're following the numbers. Well, for somebody who's just tuned in for the yes. very first time, right? We're sitting yes. here, oh, foundation paper piecing. Yes. I know you're going to show us, but can you explain what it is? Yeah, we do that is? a lot, don't we? So it's using a template, and this is just office paper, just normal... Um, office paper. Office paper, <laughs> yeah. That I've Photocopy paper. Printed it on photocopier paper. And um, it gives us some stability, and also it allows us accuracy. So we're literally going to be sewing on the lines that are printed on the paper. Through, so the, you're going to sew through the paper? Through the paper, and the fabric will be on the reverse and then we flip it and sew the seams from this side okay. so the fabric's constantly moving. Over. One question, because we always say never s cut paper with your fabric scissors. scissors. Are we going to blunt the sewing machine needle by going through paper? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so after you've done yeah. it, put a new needle in. Uh, yeah, and I keep a needle for foundation paper piecing. Oh, so okay. I use the same needle until I need to use another yes. one. But I just keep that needle separate for always sewing um, right. through the paper. OK, right. So, yeah, you I'll don't want to do the, sew through lots of pieces of paper and then be sewing, be, be trying to quilt or yes, something yes, like exactly. that. So, um, so to start off with, I've chosen... In this one, I used three of the same in each segment. Oh, yes, so yes, So what yes. I'm doing now is one, one segment of it. Yeah. And I'm going, to, I'm going to mix it up and use three different colours in one of the segments. This one's the teal bundle there. You get two and a half metres for £19.45. pence. Uh, now, we worked out you could make either six of these or six of the blocks in the, in the pattern out of the bundle that we're giving you. Uh, my three favourite people in one morning, Bliss, lots of love, Lorraine. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, she, might not, she might not be me, Hannah. Uh, and... Yeah, it might not be me. No, yeah. that was presumptuous of me. Sorry. Yes. Right. <laughs> so... The way it works is the fabric goes on this side and we sew on this side. So to start off with, we're putting the two pieces like that and it'll end up like that. So we're building it across as we go. Does the paper stay in it then? The paper stays in as we're sewing and then we take the paper out right. once we've finished. But I suppose if you're making a wall hanging or something like that, can you leave the paper in or would you always take the paper out? Um, 
I mean, you, you could leave it in, but you might want to wash it or something. Yeah. I wouldn't. And for this, for the... <laughs> you wouldn't wash it? <laughs> I wouldn't leave I the wouldn't paper wash in. It. I wouldn't wash it. <laughs> um, so for this one, we have to take the paper out to sew it to the next piece. Okay, so we right. would do that anyway. Um, so for this one, I've layered it on top. So my number one fabric is there. Right. And then my number two fabric is going away from where I ultimately want it to oh, be. Okay. So the fabrics are all going away and then it'll flip over. And it makes more sense once uh, I've sewn yeah, the first one. Yeah, I was going to say, can one. you sew the first yeah, one? Yeah, I've got sew no the idea first one. It makes about. much more sense. Yeah. So I want to leave a quarter of an inch away from the line that I'm sewing. Right. To make my quarter inch seam. So obviously I'm not lining it up with the edges. Hang on, I'm just lining have, oh, it up yeah, a, quarter, yeah. a quarter of an inch yeah. away. So, so I'll have that quarter of an inch seam on the okay. other side. And we can trim that back anyway. So. You don't and have, have you to got be... your paper piecing, your foundation piecing needle in the machine already then? Yes. Cool. And then really important is that I reduce the stitch length. Why? So because there's two reasons. One is so that the stitches stay in place. You know, if we have smaller stitches, it's less likely to come loose. But also so that when we're ripping the paper, it's it's perforated it's easier to tear oh, it away of if you have bigger stitches and you're trying to tear the paper it's likely that you're going to rip the yes. stitches so i've reduced the stitch length to 1.5 you can do anything sort of one between one 1.5 and um, i find if i do it too little it's it's quite tricky to yes. to get the paper out but uh, just so you know that uh, over half the stock of the book is in has gone already I thought, might she bring me a thingy? Seventy designs to try in that booklet for seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. It's amazing how much you get yes, in that yeah. for that price as well. So I'm going to start off, and I'm sewing along the first line. So when you get the template, you have the dashed lines to cut the template out. Yeah. And then you have the solid black line that goes around the outside, which is um, the finished um, part of the of the block. Yeah. And then these straight lines are the ones that you're going to sew down. Okay. I think I've um, copied this in black and white. I think they might be in different colours in the in the pattern. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to start sewing along the line. So I've reduced my stitch length slightly. To 1.5 and then I'm just sewing along all the way along that black line there's no need to stop anywhere right. you can go all the way along all right. all right again don't take it out yet so it just shows where you've sewn along there okay we didn't quite catch that we'll get the next one okay oh yes you see when you photo why is yours not come I out don't like know. that then because I've got a cheap <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, if you see where in the book when you photocopy it at home, I'll bring it out to the behind the book. You've got the, the different sections are in different. Oh, well, on the telly you can hardly see it either. In the book, this is grey and this is white. That's all. And you've got little red notches there. And little red well. notches, so you might want to colour those in. Anyway. Sorry. And and everything is laid out step by step. You know, in the instructions. I'll just so put the you, iron on, shall I, for yeah, you? That was my nod, nod for yes, iron, please. Yes. Um, so she literally goes through step by step. It's really, really easy to follow. So if I am going too quickly or, um, you know, you're not sure what I'm talking about, it is all explained um, in the book. Really, really detailed explanation and very, very easy to follow. You've got all the diagrams showing you step by yes. step. Right. And the written instructions as well. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I trim back this seam allowance. Oh, what now? Yes, because okay. I'm going to fold this back like that. So right. I'm going to fold the paper. Along the seam that you've... Along the seam that I've stitched. sewn. Yeah, so you can see that there, yeah. that's where I've stitched there. And then I'm going to trim this. Right, that's a dandy little ruler you've got there. It is. This is the add a quarter, add a quarter plus. Um, and what this does is it's just got a little ridge there that allows you to butt it up against that oh, seam. Oh, that's clever. And then you can trim that back. To make so really sure you can start off with any size bits of fabric, really. But yes. You can obviously, cutting the way you've done your work. 
So that's a that's a six inch ruler. That one is it. Yes. So this one is the six inch one. Ten pound ninety five. Add a quarter plus a ruler. Add a quarter plus. Uh, that's the five centimeters by fifteen centimeters. Two by six inches. Oh, I'm going to have to move yeah, your size. That, all right. No, that's fine. That's this one. And use it use it in um, paper piecing, uh, foundation piecing a lot. Yes, founda uh, foundation piecing. I also use it for hand piecing where I need to draw on a quarter of an inch seam because you know that that ridge there... There's the ridge there. ...is, is a perfect quarter there. of an inch, so I can just line that up with the templates and, and draw it. I'm not having to actually measure with it. Yeah, cause it, yes. Even, even though, though it got has got measurements you should yes. you need them, but with the quarter of an inch side, you know, if I was... Um, hand sewing and had to add, you know, had to add a quarter of an inch. I know that that's the quarter yes. of an inch. Um, so. Hannah's saying, why don't you use your machine? Well, you have used the machine, but now we're trimming down to the quarter of an inch because you've got your two fabrics underneath there, Hannah, which might, might not necessarily be a quarter of an inch. So now you put the ridge against the paper there and then you cut it. You, you, what you're doing is, you know, when they make, they make a quilt and they, the quilters make a, qu a quilt and then they square it off and everything. So that's what you're doing. You're making your, your quarter inch seam allowance in there. And this is good because it's all about precision, isn't it? It's yes. all about precision. Yeah. That's a six inch, but we also do it in a 12, is it, or eight? That's a 12 inch. That's the one that I oh, have. Oh, 12. Yeah. This is the one Lucy's got at home, the 12 inch one at home. Yeah. Not going to take it out of the packet. So that's the 12 inch one. So the six inch one here. Why would you use, why would you need both? Um, just if you, for different things, if you're doing, you know, smaller pieces yes. and then if you're doing bigger blocks, you might want the, the larger one. So the smaller one, you might want to put one in your sewing kit, keep one at home. Oh, yes, you know, of course, so yeah, because this them. one could be in your workroom and that could be yeah, in your Yeah, if you go to classes, bag. if you go to retreats. Six inch one going across the bottom, uh, 12 inch one going up the top there. OK. Or if you did want both, why not save a bit of money and buy them both in one pack? <laughs> uh, you can't see here, but there's a six inch and a 12 inch in this packet. There you can see. So this, so if you just want the six inch, buy that one Lucy's got there. If you just want the 12 inch, just buy this one here. But if you want them both, 24 pounds and Well, like Lucy's just said, it's, it would be ideal, one at home or one in your sewing kit. Yeah. Then you've got it then, haven't you? So uh, 24.95 for the book, for the two. Right, I'll let you... Okay. You can make a tiny savory band them both together like that. But, so right. I'm just going to trim this oh, yes, off. Away from the table. So when I was putting those pieces together and sewing that seam, I was aiming for a quarter of an inch, but you're always safer to yes. do it a bit bigger because you can trim it back. Um, the book scene is book as in, the book as in has nearly sold out. Just so you know. There were loads of them. If you've got it in your basket, check out quickly. I'm not building in, just take. Right, what did you do next? <laughs> I missed that, I missed that, I missed so, that. So that's the seam that we've sewn, we've trimmed that seam allowance yes. behind it. And then we fold that over on the right side. Right. And that's going to be, this is going to be the right yes. side. And then, so that's our second piece then. So then we want to just give that a press. Thank to you. To press it towards that way. Yes, yeah. Don't want to mess it up, it's not my work, is it? <laughs> you won't. And you can just do a do a finger press or use a pressing oh, no, tool. You, tell you me. know, yeah. do a pressing tool if you want to, but it, especially with the with the sort of curves, yes. I think it's worth um using okay. using the iron for this bit. So, so so now we need to make sure though <laughs> that your fabric is all because because this yes. bit is gonna fill in that bit there, isn't it? Number two. So you need yep. to make sure the fabric you've got a bit this, bit that way, a bit that way, and a bit that way. Because yeah. when you turned it over then, I thought, oh, oh no, this, she's gone wrong. But obviously it's not, because it's own, as long as the fabric covers all of this, plus the seam allowance there, yes. it's fine. Yes, exactly. Sorry, yes. I'm I'm no, no, you're right. No, that's right. Things. And then we're going to trim, you know, we'll trim all of this back. Yeah. And it's, it's important that it's covering this by at least, it's covering this, next sewing line by at least quarter of an inch on this side right but lynn's been quite generous with the with the measurements which makes it really easy the bookazine has sold out now oh. we will get more in we will get more in but um i'll talk to them the, the um, buying team now when i finish so i'm going to so put the next piece on which is going to be three so what i want to do is make sure you sort of logically think you've got to cover three. Yes. But you actually don't because you've got to flip oh, it. Of course. So you only need that to cover this so this 
line that you're sewing on allowance. by quarter of yes. an inch. Yes. So I just tend to do it by holding it up to the light, lining it up with the line, and making sure I'm going to be covering it by a quarter way? of an inch. Yes. Um, you can, because these pieces are a little bit bigger, and it's it's likely that that can shift. You can, and you can do this with the first piece as well if you feel more comfortable. You can just put a little dab of glue. Oh, okay. And press that back, and that then you just know that that's going to stay in place as you're sewing oh, this one on. That's a good idea. And this is just, um, you know, not a per, just a temporary yes. glue adhesive. Yes. the glue. First of all, the glue dries clear. Yes. Uh, you do get the pen and a refill. I, I haven't got it here, but you have a look on the picture there. Five pounds and ninety-five pence. You. And they sell the refills on the website separately as well. So if you've bought the pen and used the pen and the refill, you can buy refills on the website. So I'm just lining that up, making sure it's covering by okay. a quarter of an inch. So now we, the needle in the machine yes. has got the, the, the one that we're using for foundation piecing. Will the glue stick to the needle on the machine? No, I've only put a little bit. I haven't put it where I'm going okay. to sew. Okay, fine. Just, but if you did sew through there, the glue's not going to stick to If you did sew through it, yeah, no, it'll be fine. Uh, Hannah's saying, no residue left, John. No residue left, that's what no. I have No, and say. I mean, if you, if you were, so, you know, if you were sewing through a lot of glue, which sometimes can happen if you're spray basting or something yeah. like that, you can just wipe your needle down. So it, it, it's not, per, you know, it's not a permanent adhesive, so you'd be fine. So then I'm just sewing down that line. And a nice tip is to always make sure that the fabric is going towards the area you've already sewn. Right. If that makes sense. So you can always just check that it's going in that direction to make sure you're doing it. You're doing it right. Because it is really difficult to unpick these little stitches. Yes. So it can be a bit fiddly. So, have you reversed or anything at the top of each stitch? I, I, ha I didn't. I think I might have done when I started. It's just sort of habit for me to, yeah. to do a little reverse. But you don't really need to. You do just want to be careful. And I'll show you as I come to do it yeah. when you're ripping out the paper that you're not pulling your, pulling your stitches as you're doing it. So, now we've done that. So, that's going that towards way. the bit we've already sewn. Fold. So, I'm going to fold oh, the paper on, let's just back. Let's that again. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So, that's where I've stitched. So it's going, oh, it's covering the bit I've already sewn because we're going to flip it over. Yeah. But you don't want to do that because no. you'll end up cutting it off. Oh, OK. Which happens quite a lot. My friend Moira just posted something on social media. She'd done that. She'd folded it over and cut. Oh, yeah. Moira. Well, cut, I think she'd cut a bit off in error. And I just saw it and went, oh, but we all, it does happen. Yeah. So you just need to be mindful as you're doing it that you're not cutting off the piece you've just sewn. So then you get your little ruler. And then you get your little ruler. And you're just cutting off the extra bit there. And now, you see, people have taken our advice. Uh, the, 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 I've got um, I've got the six inch, the twelve inch, and the one with two in a pack. The one with two in a pack is the most popular so far. I don't blame you because it's no, like it's one. Keep one in your kit, one at home. Do you know what I mean? Just give this a press. So, also oh, move that one out. It uh, is worth ha worth having. So you get it? a six inch, a six incher, and a twelve incher in there. For twenty-four pounds and ninety-five pence. Uh, if you look on the website, you can get them the, the separate ones underneath as well. If you want them, and it, the it, it's nice to have. I don't like working with something very long. Having said, I do have the twelve-inch one, but I, I don't like working with something too. You know, yeah, well, when, well, you do when you're doing little, something fiddly yes, and exactly. small, it's nice to be able to have the smaller one as well. So we just keep going like that. So but the next sewing, good, yeah. trimming, flipping, sewing, trimming, flipping, All right. and keep on like that. So. I folded this piece over. Got a question. Which cutter are you using? This one is the um, Olfa. I don't know what the proper name for it. Okay, but look, we've been <laughs> it but, but it's the ergonomic one with the handle. We call it the ergonomic one. We're not sure if that's the actual title of it, but. So it has a, a safety feature with the switch there, so it lock that locks it. So you when you're um, press on the handle, nothing happens when it's locked. And then you press the button to unlock it, press the handle, and that releases the blade. But what's brilliant is if, if you let go of it, so if you're using it and you let go, the minute you let go of the handle, the blade bounces back in. So if you drop it, 
by the time it gets to your foot, hopefully the blade will have retracted itself. Now, the other yeah. good thing about this, can I just show you, is this is a right-handed one here. Now, most rotocrests today, all you can use it with both hands, but this one's brilliant because you can unscrew there, you can put the blade back on this side and turn it round and make it into a left-handed one as well. So not only has it got the safety catch on there, it's also, which I'll push down, it's also got the handle to release the blade like that, which bounces back. But then as soon as you put the safety catch back on, you see, look, so if you've got children, small animals, husbands that are likely to come in and mess around with it, won't work, won't work unless that bread button is pressed through. Uh, it's, it's called, what is it called? Comfort. The comfort. Rotary Cutter Comfort, £24. And I think practice. as well, the thing that is comfortable about it is it's because of how it's designed with the curve there, it's at the right angle for cutting. So it does make it yes. really easy. Nice. Nice. So many little tips in this show, aren't there? So okay. I'm Do you sewing want to try the... press anything or No, I've just it? done it. Okay. I snuck behind you. So again, I'm just lining this up so that it's a quarter inch away from the next line that's yes. going to be sewn. Okay, so I'll sew that one. And I just want to make sure I've got space. You're not going to glue and, that one. Top then. and bottom as well. I don't need to. Ooh, oh, I've well, lost she it. did. <laughs> No, you don't. You only glue it once you've folded it back. So I could glue that bit, yes. but because it's small, I don't okay. think it, I need to really. Right, so where did this all come from? Where did this paper? Do you know what? Foundation... I'm not actually sure. I mean, they've used um, quilters have used different things for foundations. So things like string blocks and things. You might use um, some muslin or something behind it, and you're using the same method, but not with paper. Right. I'm not actually. You'd use a a fabric base, if you like, um, to give you uh, support. But yeah. I'm, I'm not sure when paper oh. came about. Uh, right, now, well, now the uh, main graphic to the, to the right of us here is the um, bundle that uh, Lucy's using, the yellow and orange bundle, which is the one Lucy's using. I'll go through them all with you. Oh, in fact, I've got to go in a minute and do that, because it's half past, but we'll just go through. It's quite a satisfying noise as well as it's going through the paper. Yes, 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 it is. <laughs> um, good morning, John and Lucy. Lovely to see the dynamic duo back on today. You make my morning. Oh, that's nice. That's Karen from Staffordshire. She does go, oh, thank well, you, nice. Karen. Nothing it is, is nice. Right? It's so In nice. In this day and age, all people, all people will normally do is, not with bad us, but people get pen to paper when they want to complain about something. It's yes. very rare that people write in and say, and it, that's what's lovely it's about true. here. Is you, I mean, you do tell us what you think and it's, and it's heartwarming, isn't it? To think it that is, people are enjoying our shows. Right, yeah. what's the matter? Yes. Right, okay, what we need to do, what we need to do on this next one is w yep. when we do the next one, we need to keep it here, keep the camera on it and do it slowly to show exactly how, so the folding process. Okay. It's not your fault, not no, your fault. No, that's fine. So do you want to press? Oh, yes, I'll press it first, and then we'll do the next one. Yeah. We'll do the next one. Yes, I won't, I won't slow down pressing it. I'll yeah. just press it. You see, at the, at the moment, it like, doesn't look I much, know. does it? <laughs> I know, it's funny. And that's what's sort of really satisfying about it. Yes. It's because it just sort of looks really odd. Yes. But then uh, when you come to piece yes. it together, okay, it so works the, beautifully. Okay, so put it the next stage, so John. So I would just... Oh, yes, sorry. Put a oh, couple yes, because it's a bigger and one. And just yeah. hold that down. Beautifully it's pressed. Beautifully pressed. It does seem like a funny little extra step, but it does make a difference yes. knowing that yeah. that's in place there. And it makes everything just that bit more accurate as okay. well. So I'm going to take, so that was number four, four yeah. that we've covered there. Right. So the next piece is five. Right. So what we want to do is get that a quarter inch this side yes. of the of the line that we're going to sew. If it's not a quarter inch, if it's more, it doesn't matter. If it's does more, it, it doesn't matter it so long as your piece is large enough yes. to, 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 to trim over back. And, cover, yes. and that's what's really nice about the patterns in the book is that she's done all that working out for you so you know that those pieces are right. So I can check again that it's going that way. Yes, over the pieces that I've already sewn. So that's where it, it, it sort of is like working backwards. Yes. It does make sense as you're doing yes. it, you know. But it is worth taking your time over just to make sure that you're doing all the steps correctly. Right, okay. So there, we've sewn on that line. Yes. So we've got that okay, piece. Okay, hang on, then go back. Yeah. 
Sorry, I'm not, it's not you. No, it's not you, sorry. Right. We just want you to stay at home what we're doing. So we've stitched along that line there. Yeah. So we know that we're doing the right thing, that the fabric's going over what we've already yeah. sewn. We do not want to fold it back at this point because we need to trim off this yes. excess. So we leave it like that, turn it back to the wrong side. Yes. You can um, just run your finger along yeah. the seam to fold that back along that sewn line. And so all we've got on this side is the extra. Yes. Making sure we're not cutting off the bit that we've sewn. Line it up. Because this has got a little ridge, you just do it like that. If you don't have these rulers and you're using a normal ruler, you'll have to measure a quarter yes. of an inch along from that Time seam. Time consuming. Oh. And then we just trim that off. Like yeah. that. Yeah, so then that. we can fold the paper back over, yeah. turn it over, and we can fold the fabric and press. back and press. Hello, John. Got my ruler set. Love watching you. Shelley from Lincolnshire. Thank you, Shelley, my love. No well done, Shelley. <laughs> <laughs> not a competition, John. It's not a competition, <laughs> but I'm winning. <laughs> right. You'll always win. Would you like to... I, I'm going to have to go. And just yep, so I'm just, just keep on going. One, I've just got the last uh, we need one to show, and one more. We've only got 20 minutes left. Yeah. Let's do what I want. Yep, 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 yep. Right, bundles, bundles, bundles. Now, this will be interesting. Monochrome first, very, very popular. In the monochrome, you get half a metre of each of these fabrics. Um, you get two and a half metres. The thing is, even if you don't want to do the foundation pie piecing, these would be brilliant as blenders or mix. Or monochrome, so this one, uh, slightly more expensive because you've got a couple of designer ones in there. But you've got 22 to 45, so you get the, the hearts and diamonds. You get the spot-on dark grey. <clears throat> you get the charcoal. You get the mercury and you get the optical white. Say this again. Oh yeah, if yeah, I've just if um, if you want to make those blocks, you can make up to six blocks of those, or you can use it for anything else you want to use. If you didn't get the book, maybe. Uh, now uh, the purple and blue. <coughs> you get oh dear, <coughs> it's one of those days. I do apologise. You get the lovely big purple dot. You get the cobalt blue um, spot on. You get that lovely cornflower blue plane, you get the lavender plane, and you get the optical white. Half a metre of each, £19.95. Beautiful colours, aren't they? Okay, moving on to Hannah's favourite, which is the teal. Now, this one, you get half a metre of the linear print. You get half a metre, obviously, of the spot on. Half a metre of the spearmint, half a metre of the jade, and half a metre of the optical white. £19.45. Lovely, that is a beautiful one, I have to admit. This is nice, this is the one that Lucy's using over there. Uh, this one, more like flame, I'd have called this one. Half a metre of the linear print in the orange, half a metre of the yellow spot on, half a metre of the bright yellow, half a metre of the Vienna orange, and half a metre of the optical white. Nice, and now my fave, which is the pink. Now this has got designer fabric in this as well, look. So this has got half a metre of the cuckoo's calling, half a metre of fuchsia, half a metre of candy, half a metre of antique pink, and half a metre of uh, optical white. Uh, that's 18.45. £18.45. I was going to show you the book as in, but it's sold out. So we can pick. Right, now what are you doing next then? Okay. Oh, it's so cold in here now, isn't it? Yeah, I like that yeah. though. So that's that piece oh, finished. Okay. That's fantastic, isn't it? You see, it's lovely the way you've ombre the oranges round, isn't it? But still looking yeah. a bit weird, isn't Different it? Look. It is looking a bit weird. So we can trim this down. Right. So I can use... That'll be interesting, trying to do the curves. The edge of that one. I'm not going to use the rotary cutter for that. I'm going to cut that with scissors. So I'm not, I don't need a, I'm not, um, <clears throat> sorry, adding a quarter of an inch there. I'm cutting it literally to, to the, paper. the paper. I was just using the very edge of that to do that. Right, Hannah said there was a message, but I haven't got it yet. Yeah. Okay, so do you want to trim? No. Okay. <laughs> it's Patricia, what? Is my shirt plain? Well, it's a blue, it's a shot blue, but then it's got pattern on here and in here. And it's got different coloured buttons. 
I know it is unusual for you to have something plain, but it's a very lovely. Sheeny plain. Like make a, them yeah. look fatter, though. I don't but like it. But the square bottoms are lovely, yeah. and the tr and the trim. It's creased really quickly nice. as well, lean against the table. Yeah, so I might have to munch. Might have to press it in the break. We'll have to watch our posture, won't we? It's because I can eat on the table. Yeah, I do the same thing. So I'm just using scissors to trim this back. So you're just trimming it to exactly the size of the paper. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So that's that. Louise, love John and Lucy's shows. I've been watching since the beginning. John, you make my day. You make me laugh out loud. I've emailed a picture of my latest project of a bulldog quilt. Wow. Well, let's see if we've got it, Louise. A bulldog quilt? What's one of those? Well, it'll be a quilt with bulldogs on it. Oh, it's not a traditional block. I then. would have thought. No, I yeah. don't think so. Okay, let me... Oh, yes. wait, it hasn't arrived yet, Louise. It hasn't arrived yet. So, look, now we've trimmed it, look. Now it looks, now it looks like it's meant to look, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Fabulous, right, let's do the curve bit because we don't want to run out of time. So then, well, then we've got to remove the papers. So you're just going to fold right. it back. Oh, we've got 15 minutes, we're right. Okay, we're going to, well, mm. oh. I'm going to rush, rush, rush. So you just can fold it back and then you just tear it away. And because we've got those little stitches, it's ever so easy to tear it off like that. Any little bits, you can get a tweezer, we'll just pull, pull it yes. out. So just fold it back. On the line, on, on the, the line. line. You want to be careful, not just be gentle at the edges, so you're not pulling your stitches out, yeah. and then just rip it out like that. Now, could you use could you use um, a, a stitch and tear or something like that for this instead you, of the paper? Um, you you can do, but you'd have to get the template. Oh yes. Um, Unless you could you put stitch and tear through your photocopier, do you think? On it, I'm not. I'm no. not sure. No. I know you. you no. Can, you can with not. freezer paper. Yes. Oh, there you go. So. Oh, someone's already messaged in saying they always use freezer paper. Yeah. Margaret said she always used freezer yeah. paper. Yeah, well done, Margaret. We are getting freezer paper in, Margaret. We had it when we first started, and then it didn't... Because you're just dying it on... You're just dying it on... Actually, there. I thought so those away. Don't use yes. those again. No, we don't use them again. Right, curved bit. So then the curved bit... So you only actually need this template once because you just use it as a template, and we're not using this for sewing. Right. So she suggests using a square yes. this size, and then you can line up... Um, with the corners and I'm just going to cut these templates out hey. so I'm just pinning them down I'm just going to cut so I've got the curve oh so we're not actually using the, oh using I see the I see I see so this say. is instead of using your saucer or your plate or whatever she's actually done so, the curve for yeah, you so she's just designed the template nice pins they're new those pins they're lovely, lovely, and, fine, they're lovely they? and fine and sharp yeah so once we've got that in place and then I'm just going to cut uh, the pins are going to go across the bottom there. Three, uh, seven, uh, seven ninety-five prim glass-headed pins. Thirty-five of them for seven ninety-five. I always use glass-headed. I much prefer glass-headed pins for patchwork. Why is that? Uh, just it's finer, and um, they tend to be finer pins, and um, you don't have problems with ironing yeah. or or anything. Okay. And then just the same with this one. So which bit are we cutting out then? So this is the background. So it's this bit. Yeah. And this bit. Oh, so you're not using the middle bit. <laughs> what are you laughing? No, I'm not using the middle bit. I mean, you could just put the templates on the paper. You don't have to cut them. Yes. You know, so that bit gets thrown away, puts in your stash, doesn't it? Yeah, now, you that use bit, that yeah. for something else. Or you could do a, re you know, do a reverse and have that be plain. Oh yeah, because you've got the, make, the, um, a, yes. make a different block and entirely. Yeah. No, because remix is the uh, is the uh, where you do the same as this, but you use the pattern fabrics there and the white fabrics there. So then, what I want to do is just cut out these notches. Okay. Here. We well, learned about notches yesterday, didn't you, when you're acid. making that bag? Use my smaller scissors, and this just helps you um, line it up when we yeah. come to sew these pieces together. And also just gives a little bit of give to the pieces as well. No rush, 12 minutes. Okay. So, and then so you should have left it pinned. You should have left it pinned, really, if you're cutting the notches in now. Yeah, you can. I find it tricky to do that, though. Oh, do you? Yeah, Why? I don't know. Why? I'm just not used to it. You're just used to little ones going. But why, mummy? <laughs> but why? Why, mummy? And we say because why has a long tail. 
it's a storybook. <laughs> oh, I don't think as a child, I'd, I'd always go, where are you going, Dad? Dad, where are you going? Where are you going? He goes, I'm going mad. That's all he used to say. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> yes. I wonder why. There we go. Right. Nice and easy. I'm always been annoying, haven't I? And then we have to fit it together. Oh, my word. OK, so it looks like it shouldn't fit. Yes. But it's going to. But it's going to. So we want to line up this way with this piece on top. Yes. With the central piece on top. So we're going to pin at the corners. It's gone very so quiet. We'll do either red. I know I've got to concentrate. Either edge, and all our seams are pressed nicely. If you just finger pressed, you might want to give them a, a quick, proper press, a, a quick proper press, yeah, so that they don't get caught up. And then we can do the middle, and you can see how the notches line up with the seam yeah. lines there. So we can use that as a guide to help us pin. I don't know why you've got a green pin in the middle of that red box of pins. I don't know. It's a rogue one. A rogue green pin. A rogue pin. It's jumped in off the off the um, cushion. Yeah. Right. So the seams match up with all of the notches. So you just have to manipulate it a little bit, yeah. and you probably, I found it easier to fold the, you know, to pin the seams down in place, and I had them going away from. Towards the dark side. Yeah. Away from away from the the lighter part but it's worth doing this bit and taking your time to pin so that it so that it fits accurately i'm going to have to rush a little bit yeah. i realize For 10 minutes right? okay so usually when i'm sewing curves i don't pin at all yes but that's i'm that's when i'm not using a template if you're yes. using a template so you're keeping the white fabric on the bottom and the the sunshine one on the top on the then top. you're going to sew it yeah. i might just put one in there as well and what what you want to do now is sew slowly take your time not rush yeah and if you need to you know move the fabric about as you're yes. going you know you can go on then so that's it looks like that side yeah so it looks like that yeah. and then i'm going to put my quarter inch foot on because i find that easier and you want to use um a quarter of an inch for this and you go from one edge And I can just adjust the speed mm -hmm. down a little bit, yeah. so I'm going a bit slower. And I'm going to back stitch as I start, and then just slowly going round. Taking your pins out as you Taking go. Taking your pins out as you go. Oh, just lost the pin there. Take it out <laughs> if it's not quite as accurate. Doesn't matter. Oopsie daisy. There we go. I've just realised that seam's going the wrong way, but never mind. Yeah. When you're at home doing this, obviously take your time. Borough Lucy's got like six minutes or something, four minutes. Yeah, and I need to, to I want to do the other curve yeah. as well, so I'll just whiz round. And you haven't got me eagle eyeing you from the side. I know. And you're not on television when you're at home. <laughs> Are you not? <laughs> well, I don't know. You might be. When I do my cooking, I made last night, I made um, broccoli and uh, courgette soup from Ooh, a tea. Oh, very nice. And I was like, I always pretend I have it all in bowls ready. And, uh, you know, oh, do you? you know. I'm only there on my own. It's only the cats that are watching. They didn't last night. They were outside in the sunshine. So you can't blame them. So as it gets a little bit fiddly to the end, yeah. you can use, you know, a tool to, to hold it if that, yeah. you find that helpful. Use your quick a bit. Uh, we've, a couple of emails just arrived with pictures. Um, what we'll do is we'll show them in Lucy's next show, because we, we need to get this done before the end of the uh, show here. Oh, I've left a pen in. We haven't forgotten to show the promise. There we go. So that's 
That curve. Oh, the bulldog one's not arrived yet. Which way would you like me to press yeah, it? Yeah, pressing it. Louise, we're not you received your bulldog one yet, I'm afraid. I'm just doing that because oh, yeah, I, know, I, want to see I that. know Lucy wants to get onto the. Oh, look how gorgeous that looks. Yeah. She wants to get onto the next curve, don't yeah. you? Are you going to see that? There we go. So it's like there a ray go. of sunshine. Right, do you hope? And then we've got to put this bit. So it's the same. On here. So we do it with this bit on top this time. Yes. Like that. Oh. So it seems odd, but it, you pin it this way. Okay. It's very thin at the ends though, isn't it? It is very thin at the ends. And that's why the, you know, your quarter of an inch seam is really important. Yes. Your, your accuracy. Because if you do too big of a seam, you're going to lose, you're going to lose some of that. And then you just, so your notches are your notches. They're on each seam, basically, aren't they? Yes, they're on each seam. So you just ease it round. It has got give in it because of those notches. We're going to time this perfectly. We've just got three and a half minutes. As well. So you just have to manipulate it a bit with your fingers. And as you're sewing it, you want to try and get it lying flat as much as possible. Yes. Um, so that you don't get puckers as you're sewing. But you can see it does fit yes. perfectly. But that's why it's important to go quite slowly on this, because you want it to be, and like you say, you don't have to unpick it. Do no, you? and to have that accuracy as well. And that's where, you know, as you're cutting, you, you want to be really careful and, and make sure you're following the template. So then again, it's just the same thing. I'm using my quarter of an inch seam. My stitch length, um, the machine automatically sets it to uh, 1.8. But because we're going round a curve again, I would I would keep it, you know, a smaller stitch. Yes. You don't have to go as small as when you were paper piecing. And you can just move it with your fingers. Taking the pins out as you go. As you go. <laughs> And just go, just go slowly. It's not really any more, you know, it, especially with a curve like this, it's not um, so angled. It's quite smooth. It's not really that different from sewing a straight line. I'm just making sure that the outer edge is meeting up with yeah. the foot. It's a bit like sewing a straight line that's inch. curved. But it's curved, <laughs> yeah. But you don't have to do anything, you know, no. particular. You just want to be gentle. Try not to pull. Sorry, my life. Just well. that, take that pin out. <laughs> and just go slow, you know, just take your time. I've got my appraisal coming up soon, you know. Have you? Where they video bits of me, the management, and go, why did you say this? <laughs> What did you do that for? Why are you doing that? Why are you picking on Lucy? That out of place. Yeah, stop picking on me, John. What are you doing now? Daisy. I've just pulled that out of place slightly. Sorry, it's actually made you laugh. There we go. Left a pin in. So if you give that a press, it should be all done. You are doing beautiful pressing today. Thank you. Well, you see, when I worked on Four Weddings and a Funeral, <clears throat> we had to be in work at Harper's Three every morning. One of us had to get in at Harper's Three because we had over 100 shirts to add. If you thought oh, we dressed all those wedding guests of every course. single day. Oh, my God. So I got used to doing lots there of pressing. We go. Oh, Lucy, that's got, yes, that's, that's, that's my ironing. That's, that's not your ironing. stitching. <laughs> there we there go. There you go. A bit of fluff on it. So I've got 30 seconds. You still and got 30 it. seconds. So left. you repeat that four times. Yes. And you just sew them together in blocks. You know, one, two, one, two. So you do rows and then sew the rows together. Uh, right, this is gonna be interesting. Hannah's gonna make this, Hannah's gonna do this the project. <gasps> Fab. Except Hannah, we have sold out of the bookazine, you have to wait for it to come back in. Oh yeah, but this is your vert. This is yours. So can she photocopy that later? She yes, says. She can. Right, Lucy, thank you. Back in an hour, aren't you? <laughs> thank you. I am with a quilt. A nautical. Is it a nautical quilt? Yes, sailboat quilt. Nautical baby quilt. So you can put the baby down on it. So cute. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back with Lucy in an hour's time. Right.
Quick roundup of the bundles. Uh, monochrome, which has been very, very, very popular. Okay, oh my, oh, well, this is, uh, this is number one bestseller in the hour. Monochrome, you get the hearts and diamonds, you get the spot on, <clears throat> you get the grey. <clears throat> oh, I've got ages, I'm not rushing. Got the grey, the mercury, and the optical white there for £22.45. Two and a half metres, remember, two and a half metres of fabric getting there. Even if you're not making the um, block that Lucy's shown you, really, really lovely. Uh, this is nice, the purple and the blues, this one. You get the purple big spot. You get like the cobalt blue spot, like a cornflower plain blue, half meter of each, lavender and the optical white. Because what we've done is we've got white in all of them. So if you do make that, you need the white as the background, don't you? 19 pounds and 95 pence. Second place is the teal. Very close competition between the monochrome and the teal. This one, you get the um, linear print there, half a meter, the spot on, the spearmint, the jade or the turquoise, and then the white, 19 pounds and 45 pence. Remember you get two and a half meters of fabric in there? They're lovely, aren't they? That's the most popular. Then, uh, sec number two, number two. Oh, wait, quickly. Then I've got the orange and yellow. Thought I had loads of time, not that. Linear print, spot on, bright yellow, Vienna orange, and the optical white, 19 pounds and 45 pence. And then the last but not least, how many seconds have we got left now? Oh. Right, I've got the pink, my favourite. I thought he said 30, never mind. Cuckoo's Calling, Fuchsia, Candy, gorgeous pink, and the white. That's very limited, limited. But I'm surprised mine's not the favourite. Oh, it might have sold out, might have sold out. Uh, who's up next? Oh, Joe. Joe's up next doing a really, really, really gorgeous project. We will see you here in three minutes from now. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing, work, we create and love. There are many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. The circus is rolling into town this weekend as two viewer favourites make a welcome return to our screens. Tune in on Saturday the 24th of June when Joe Carter will demonstrate how to make two magical soft toys in the form of a circus elephant and its mischievous monkey friend. With Joe's expert guidance and these handy kits from much-loved craft brand Tilda, it's easy to make your own. So join us for some monkey business and see Joe bring these quirky characters to life in front of your very eyes on Saturday the 24th of June at 9am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. 
Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple programme guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. How long have we been open now? January the 31st we opened, didn't we, right? And Joe, gorgeous Joe, right, who's just brilliant, just said to me, I'm a bit worried. And I went, why, Joe? What's the matter? She went, I'm actually calm today. Normally she's very, very nervous. She went, I'm a bit, so anything could happen now. But look at this. Isn't it a beautiful, isn't it a beautiful patchwork? Uh, now, this obviously isn't all of it. Do you want to have a look what it looked like, the whole thing, if we made the whole thing? Oh, it's a computer generator. It's obviously not using our fabrics. Oh, that's nice. Uh, let me go around the back of the table, then I'll put this over here with Joe. Um, because what we've done is we created three bundles. Three bundles. Now, I will say now before we start, these are considered purchases. But what you're getting for your money is fantastic. It is amazing. But I just, I'm just going to point out. You've got designer, uh, de designer design rolls. You've got also, uh, and you've got seven meters of fabric in bundles. Just remember that when you see the price. Starting off, you also get the book. You also get this book, right? This is the so. Now they've put so jelly rolls. They can be called jelly or design rolls, can't they? So jelly roll quilts and gifts. It's, I'll go through the book when we go over to Joe in a minute, but it is an exquisite book, right? You get that in every single bundle. Right? So then the three, oh, and before we do anything else, you also get this, which is the Hobbs Heirloom washable wool batting queen size. That comes in the kit. There's, you can see the measurements there. And then, why we put seven meters in each bundle is it's enough to do the backing of the quilt as well. So it's everything, apart from the thread, it's everything you need to make this up, uh, this, uh, that gorgeous quilt, the whole quilt size. Um, right, I've got three designers, three, two, uh, uh, right, okay. Uh, we've got this one, first of all, the Tula Pink. So, I'll move, I'll move that there, there you go. So, what you get in this bundle, oops. What you get in this bundle is you get the whole of this enormous design roll, right? The design roll here, of which you get 40 pieces of true colours, right? And then these are the colours, these are the colours, I'll go through them all later there, that's one open, right? So what you get is you get the whole of this uh, design roll, you get this, a metre of the spot-on fabric, which uh, Joe will show you. Oh, it's aqua, that one, yeah, aqua spot-on. And then optical white in this one. Okay, that looks, I have to say that looks like antique white compared to the other two. Yeah. Right, right, we'll just need to check that before we go, because I think that one's antique. But anyway, you, you get six metres of white, you get six metres of white, it will be sorted out. Six metres of white, a metre of the blue, and then the, uh, design, the, the design roll there for £174. And you get everything, everything, right? On to which one do you want to go to next? Okay, then, this is papaya. Oh, sorry, there's a still there. Right, then this is the uh, papaya. So you get a metre of this, you get six metres of the white, which is antique white, so I'm just going to do, so I'm just going to do this live on air, sorry. I'm just going to do, at home you won't notice, but I'm just going to make sure that one just goes with that one. You get exactly the same amount, but basically with that one, you, that one you've got optical white, that one there, and then this one is the uh, antique white here. So, just to go that. So a metre of this, six metres of this, and then... You get this Amy Butler design roll here, which is the one that Joe's actually used to create, and he's using, carrying on using, aren't you? Yes, obviously, yeah. So this is 159.95, still on that one. And then last but not least, 
And maybe get the book as well. Look, you can see there the book, the two fabrics, the design roll, and the uh, wool batting. This is lovely. Kaif. I've only got Kaif as well now. So you get, uh, you get a metre of the red uh, spot on. It's really luscious red. Then you get six metres. And now I'm, I am limited on all of these, just so you know. Uh, six metres of the white. And then the, gel, uh, the design roll. The book, and the, the, I'll go through the fabrics later. I'll go through that. There's the still there of all of those. So uh, it is the most exquisite uh, kilt, uh, kilt kit, isn't it? Kilt. Um, hello. Hello. Right. Why are you so calm today? I don't know, but it's, it's making me nervous. No. <laughs> well, it makes you nervous again, so that's fine. Right. Okay. So let's get started because it looks like it's very complicated. It's not, it's, it's quite time consuming, but that's quite a nice and relaxing. Thing and, yeah. that, maybe that's why you're calm, because you've been doing be. some of it this morning. Yes, that's it. I mean, but now, being calm has made me nervous, so it's just sort of cancelled out. Oh, okay, so it's, fine. It's fine, right, again, fine right, back right. to normal again that now. That colour really suits you, by the way, as well. Oh, thank yeah. you. Anyway, let's... Uh... No, no, I never say about yellow normally, but that really suits you. Yeah, Hannah wears also yellow, and she says I'm very insulting to her every morning <laughs> when she wears. Mind you, hers are kind of like khaki yellows, you know, they're not pure yellows. Right, let's get on with the tea, tea time treat then. Is that, is that part of it, or is that just your book? That's part of it, and it's also my bookmark okay, for uh, the minute. Right, so where do we start? Where do we start with this? We start with the cutting out, so the jelly roll. Design the roll. Design roll, sorry, strips. We, it, 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 I'll just explain. Um, some are called jelly rolls, some are called design rolls. We call them design rolls here. Obviously, this book calls them jelly rolls, but they're the same things. They're strips of fabric, the width of the fabric, two and a half inches wide. Yes. Yeah. That's a, that's a thing. And so these strips are going to be cut into these triangle shapes, which form the patterned area, the right. printed area. So there's enough in each of the design rolls. I'm presuming then in the, in the Amy... But, uh, and the tulip pink, you must have some left over. You haven't used the tulip pink, but there's enough in each of the design rolls to do all the patterns for the whole, <coughs> excuse me, the, ho the whole of that you could do, because the spot, I presume, is for the um, binding, and then the white is for the background. <coughs> Sorry, right. It, does, it just requires one design roll. Yes. For the quilt top. And I've done, I'm going to see if I can get to do a two by two, so I've done half here. If I, could, I have one of these blocks yep. ready. Um, this is actually three by three. Oh, okay. This quilt. Oh, okay. So I'm doing so, a sort of a so shrunken version. So you're making a two version. by two. We're going to try and make a two by two now. But actually, there's enough fabric to make a three by three. So nine, nine of those blocks. Yeah. Yes. Yes, nine of those blocks. Oh, hang on. Do I have a look on? Which one are you get on the end of the book or the? Oh, okay, right, fine. Right. Okay, uh, let's get going. And I'm sure I've read that it says you will have when you cut the triangles out, you do end up with more than you need, which means you can be selective about placing them. You can put the print you want. Okay. Oh, so it's all want. triangles. It's all triangles. But also, to go with this, I think it's sort of oh, carrying well, there on. It is. So there, there are two of the blocks. Joe's going to try and do another two blocks in this hour if I stop talking. And then, but the amount of fabric you've got is enough to make three rows of three. So nine of these. There's enough fabric to make nine of those. And with your leftovers, there's also a pattern. The patterns to make. Um, coffee and tea coasters as well. Oh. So you can have those to match. With the leftovers? With the leftovers. So you've got what, what, coasters in your bedroom? Well, I think it's sort of a picnicy rug. Oh, out the door. your bed. Okay. Yes. I'm just automatically thinking because that's where I have them in my house. I don't think I'll put them anywhere else. <laughs> right. So the finished size would be 65 inches square. Right. Oh, wow, that's nice. So there we go. Shall, uh... So I start right. The first job is to cut your strips into triangles. Right. And there's a template on the back. I think it's page one, two, four. So this is the template. Now, I have used, because I used this the other day, I right. really like this ruler. And if you put this over the template, you can see there that when you cut the strips, if you use the dotted line yes. at the top and this four, four inch line here, yes. you can cut the strips with one of these, which saves Four cent is that a four centimetre line or four inch? For it to make a finished four inch square. They, they don't oh, actually oh, quite right. so represent. Make, oh, I see. So that four there is the size of your finished okay. square. Yes. Fine, got it. Sorry, I just saw four and thought four centimetres. 
Uh, the rule of graphics is, I need to warn you, Joe had this the other day and it absolutely flew out. There's not that many left, so please be careful. Right. So here's but the... if you haven't got that ruler, you can use you the template the... from the book. Yes, the right. template's there. Right, I'll pop a triangle in just to... Uh... Oh, okay. In fact, we'll cut them together to buy you one of these rulers. I love this ruler. How much are they? 1995. Well, that's my... Do... Uh, well, I'll just get the... I'll get it for you. <laughs> yeah. Right. So now you've got two design roll pieces there. Do you know that? Yes, I'm cutting two at a time. Right. You can do one at a time. You could do a few more. I like to do two at a time ta to save a bit of time. OK, but do you cut the whole... All of your pieces... So you, you cut up all your, gel your design roll to start with, do you, into triangles? It depends how you work. You could yes. do a few. If you don't want to have a great big heap of triangles or you get bored of the cutting, you could do a few. Maybe one of each of the strips. Have those there, so you've got the different designs to choose from. Okay, so even though, <coughs> excuse me, even though the block is the same, the fabrics are random, aren't they? Yes, you I have, just you're put not them laying in. out the same triangle in exactly the same place each time. No, you could do that if you wanted to, but I just went <coughs> completely. Oh random no, I like it like that, like random layout. Anyway, I'll let you get up. So I'll just start the end. Spin this round. So why did you cut that end out that way and now you've turned it round? Just to go along, just to make sure I wasn't... Cutting in the wrong cut direction. It, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we've, we've got the um, rotary cutter, the rotary board coming up later, um, cutting board, but that would be, you could use that. Oh, no, because you... It, the, I'm talking rubbish on it because it's too long. It's quite a long yeah. strip. So cutting out with this, just line up the... It's not quite the point of the ruler. There's a little dash yes. there. Line those up. That's so an long. unusual ruler, though, because it's not just a triangle, is it? There seems to be another, a, like, a tail on it, almost. It's great. This is... You can cut quarter-square triangles with it or half-square. Which are the, These are half-square, aren't they? These are the quarter-square section and this would be the half square. Oh, OK. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, yes, yes. So these measurements relate to your finished square if these are quarters and these measurements relate to your finished square if you're just using half square. Right. OK. So just carry on like that and cut out square, uh, triangles. triangles even. <coughs> and then with your white fabric, just cut off, with a long ruler, cut off lengths with the fabrics to four and a half. Uh, uh, <coughs> all these instructions are in the book, aren't they? They are. We'll go through the book in a second because there's so many gorgeous quilts in here. So, let's just have a look. So, all these instructions are written here very, very clearly in the book. There you go. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so now the Amy Butler, 159.95, but maybe getting the design roll, seven metres of fabric in total, six of the white, one of the pattern, of the dot, and you're getting the book, and you're getting the wadding. So everything you need apart from the thread. Right. So white fabric, fold it in half, self edge, self edge, um, neat, straighten the top edge, and then cut four and a half inch wide strips, and then subcut them into four and a half. Inch oh, so these are for the, the so centres bit there. The yeah. center, no, oh, because yeah. this is a sash, is it, that goes on afterwards? It is. Yeah. That's right. So the block is actually, would you call that a block or is that a block? I think of the four squares together as a block. Right, OK. But you, you make them, these squares, four of these squares, and then join them together. So, together. so you're making a small block to then add four together to make a bigger block? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and then they're sashed. OK. Now, if you finger press in half because you want the point to fall of the triangle to fall at the halfway point so finger press oh, yes. that and then finger press the triangle and line those presses up and then stitch a quarter an inch all the way along yeah to join that oh yeah because if you match this at the end First of all, it's not going to line up, and secondly, it's not going to be in the centre, is it? Because you, you've yes. got dog legs, dog ears on here, haven't you? Yes. It's important that they are centred. It just gives it a nice even finish. Right, so let's... Just 
reduce my stitch length. I just want a shorter, because I'm not going backwards and forwards at the end, I just want a slightly shorter stitch length. Right. Now, if you've got any questions for Jo, get them in, uh, web chat them in. She's happy to answer them. I will explain what this sewing box is on the desk. Oh, Smoffy. Smoffy, that's a lovely name, isn't it? Oh, OK. Um, right, Smoffy says, we all know them as jelly rolls. Only TV shopping presenters call them design rolls. Please use the terms we know. It saves confusion. Right. <coughs> I have to... Uh, right, I have to... Basically, the word jelly roll is a patented by a certain company. So some people, on all of those design roles, on all of those roles there, they're called design roles. So we, uh, we've been told that we have to call them what they're called on the label, rather than what we all know them as. I know it's confusing, Smuffy, but basically the word jelly roll is, is a patented name that's owned by somebody. So unless it says jelly roll actually on the, on the design roll itself, that's what... I know, and on the fabric, then, it's, it's conf I know it's confusing, but I, I, we just have to do what we're told, really. Right, so what have you just done? So I've stitched one of the triangles, the long end of the triangle, on either side, right. opposite sides of the square. Yeah. So I'll give those a press now. Right. And I press. I've been doing the pressing this morning, did oh. you know? Do you want to carry on? Or? Yes, that's, I'm happy to carry on, yes. Would right. you mind pressing you, to the print? Would you like me to uh, seal the stitchings first? Isn't that what they called it? Yes, if, if you wouldn't mind. Like this, hang on. Irene sent an email in. Hello, Irene, my love. Oh, she says, I understand why they're called different names, John, but thank you for explaining anyway. Uh, ha happy belated birthday <laughs> from another Gemini. Not belated, that's, what's, that's the name. No, belated means that's what lambs do. Right, which way, <laughs> which way do you want me to... To the print, please. Oh, so I should do it like this. Hang on, there's a way of doing this, isn't there? Like that. There we go. See, I'm learning. Hannah's always thought her whole life that, you know, when you say happy belated birthday, she's always thought the word was belated. And she's <laughs> even spells it like that in cards. <laughs> happy belated birthday. Ooh, Hannah always sends cards at the time. She doesn't have many friends. Right. And now I'm going to join these triangles on. Oh, so okay. just different prints on the other two sides. Yeah. So I think I press again to find Are you just it? randomly picking them out of a pile then? You're not? I am, yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, because they all come from the same designer slash jelly roll, you know that they're, it's from one range, isn't it? So you know that no matter which way you put, as long as you don't put two of the same together, you know they're all going to go in, yeah. blend beautifully, don't you? It sort of takes that. Someone's done the hard work for yes, you, haven't they? very much so. There you go, this is the one we're making, what's on the, on the front of the book. The folded up version. Oh, you see, that's why it's called tea time, so it doesn't go on a bed, it does go on a picnic. Oh, duh. John, one job. No, I wouldn't let people sit on it either. If anyone came round, be like, oh, oh, you can use this room, but you're not having this. <laughs> Look, it's beautiful, isn't it? Look, I'm taking it away now. And the cats aren't allowed on it either. I'm going to have a picnic on it, but only white or beige food, <laughs> just in case. Mashed potato. Okay, so yeah, I can only think of mashed potatoes. Well, white rice. Oh, this is a lovely. I'm, 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 I'm not saying it's yours. <laughs> cauliflower. Yeah. And now they make now they're making um, cauliflower couscous or something. Oh, what? Cauliflower rice. Oh, I've seen it, and I keep thinking, oh. They can other white foods now that you can have on there. White wine. White chocolate. Oh, it's getting better now, the pudding. I like the second part rather than... It's panna cotta white, is it? Is that like that blancmange stuff? It is panna cotta, isn't it? Press. If you wouldn't mind. No, not at all. And does, it make, does it make you feel awkward, somebody else doing your pressing? It does a bit. I don't know what to do with my hands, no. <laughs> I'm not going to do Anna's. Well, most of yours is acrylic anyway, Anna, so I wouldn't want you to iron it, would I? Oh, see, so now I've made, now I've, now I've made, ladies and gentlemen, a whole square. OK. Now, you could Ooh. trim this to remove the dog ears. Yes. But actually, I quite like them. I find them quite useful for lining up. Oh, OK. So I'm going to leave those on. So we're going to make another one now. And the next job, we join these. We join triangles oh, in pairs. Oh, I see. Now. It's because there's more to it than that, isn't there? 
I've not used that one before, have I? Or that one. So if we join these in, into pairs, and then these will go around there like that. Right. To square it, Is to make right? another square. I wouldn't put that one there because you've got two together. Oh, you got that and that's you're right. Good. They, I won't use that one. Oh, apparently Patricia says, don't put cauliflower rice in your fridge. It makes your fridge smell. Thank you, Patricia. Oh. Okay, so hang on. So that's that one there. So that goes there. Is that right? Am I doing it right now? That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hang on. I've got two the same here now. I mean, I chose different prints. Each one of these, there's no repeated print within the square, or there shouldn't be. Yeah. If there is, I've made a mistake. Oh, yeah, now remember, these got pinked edges because that's the edge of the design. Also, your two and a half inches, just so you point out, only goes to the bottom one of those. So you haven't lost any of your two and a half inches in the pinking. Okay. Right, so I'll join these into pairs. No, I can't. Can, oh, that one already done. Well, that's a repeat. Am, am well, I hang on, that one can go one? there. That one can go there. And then you're, the one you're doing can go there, you okay. see. I think. Oh, no, we haven't used those yet. But we need four yes. pairs of these. Yeah, yeah. Actually, if you're just going to sew four Should sets I? of triangles, don't do anything else. Okay. Just set the, I'll just go and do, I'll go and do the, um, uh, just go through the fabric, let's go through the bundles. This is the uh, computer generated uh, picture of how the finished so you can make the tea time as you see, it's got nine blocks on there. That's enough fabric to make that from the design roll, the backing in the white, the trim, the, the uh, uh, what binding? Is that? Well, that one hasn't got any binding on, but our binding would be the spot fabric. Uh, and then, so you get everything in this kit that you need to make that, uh, apart from the thread, apart from the thread, that's all. So let's start with, again, Amy Butler. Oh. We did the other way around last time, didn't we? Uh, this is the one we're doing, you see. This is the one where uh, we, I say that all the time, that's what we are doing. Uh, you get the whole of this design roll. You do. And then you get a, a, a metre of the uh, papaya spot, and you get six metres of the antique white. Yes, now please, please, please be aware. Lots of you got these in your baskets. Um, because of the size of the bundles, these are limited bundles, just so you know. Limited bundles, just so you know. So if you have got them in your basket and you do want them, I'd definitely check out as soon as you could. Okay, so what you get in there, you get the uh, batting, the wool batting. You get the book. You get the uh, papaya, metre of the papaya, six metres of the antique white. And then the lovely Amy Butler design roll. I can't open that one out. So I've not got that one open, I'm afraid. That's the only one I haven't got that's out. But you can see it being used in the quilt over there. The open one is being used in the quilt there, you see. Okay. At Tula next. So again, with Tula, you get the book, the wadding, the uh, six metres of optical white, one metre of aqua spot on, and then you get this, oh, this design roll here, the Tula pink. Now this is beautiful. How many do you get in this one? You get um, 40 pieces in this one, 40 pieces. Now here's a selection of some of them. I'll just move that out of the way. Here's a selection of some of the fabrics you're gonna get to make these triangles. Right, I'm just gonna peel back, I think, on this one so we don't ruin. So you get the lovely uh, subtle gray there with the flower. And on the telly, that's going to look white. What it is, it's, a, it's like a very, very, like a dove grey with white flowers on. Then we've got the black uh, swirly. Then we've got the ladybirds in blue, ladybirds in red, ladybirds in orange, and ladybirds in mustard. Psychedelic in the gold, psychedelic. Well, it could almost be peacock feathers or zebra, couldn't it, that, in the blue? Same again in the grey, and then in the red. Then this one's lovely. That was the, the, you know, the black and white one you saw at the beginning. That's the pink and orange equivalent of that. 
Uh, or pink, I say orange, pink and... Um, I don't know what the color I'd call that background there, but very bright pink. Then you've got the green version. Then this one's lovely. This one's owls and peacocks. Owls and peacocks in the lemon and lime. Then we've got that lovely swirly one again, but that's in blue this time. Now, you remember the first fabric, and I said it's pale grey with white flowers. Well, this is the pink version of it. <coughs> nice, isn't it? Then we've got the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the owls and the uh, elephants in the uh, pink and purple. The owls and the elephants in turquoise. Then we've got that floral one from the beginning in the pink. Then we've got the owls and the elephants in pink and uh, orange. And then we've got the floral in the green again. Yes, so now uh, it's fantastic because, well, first of all, they've done it so that they're all teamed together. Ooh, you haven't got to go out and buy it and choose it. You haven't got the, the, um, the pressure of buying it yourself. It's all done for you. And, and also, remember, when the kit arrives at your house, you've got the wadding, the backing, the binding, and the main fabric to make the triangles. All, all you need to do is cut, is cut out. And the book, and the book. Then we've got Kaif. This will look amazing, this one, won't it? Okay, um, Hannah's saying, if you get this one and you make it, can you send her in a picture? Because she really, really wants to see this. So you get the red spot-on fabric, a metre. You get seven, uh, six metres of the optical white. You get the book and the wadding. We will go through the book in a minute, when Joe's just waiting for me. And then let me go through the colours on the, the design roll for you. I'll just move that out of the way, and we'll do the design roll. Let me just do some minutes again. So... We have the psychedelic pansies on the top there. Then we have the sands of time. Then we have the zigzag. I think they call that the rhythm, don't they? Uh, that one's uh, disco time. <clears throat> That's lovely. Big orange flowers. Uh, pink disco time. More psychedelic, psychedelic, psychedelic daisies. <clears throat> Love this one. L polka dot with flowers. Then that one's brilliant because you know what? When you cut out triangles of that one, I'll just put it all the way up there. Look, you've got orange, you've got uh, coral, you've got green and yellow, you've got um, all pinks there, all different colours running through that one. Um, amazing, £159 for a cave quilt, if you think about it. That's one of my favourites, that's the chrysanthemum one there. More of the psychedelia there. I just like, look at this. Uh, ovoids in the red. More flowers. Uh, gorgeous uh, spot with flower there. Aren't these lovely? Aren't they just beautiful? It's Kaif. Now, this was a Kaif, um, I think it was called, was it called the Red? Was it called Red, this? Um, I'll have a look in a minute. Red Classic Collection, that's it. There you go. All those beautiful Classic Collective, that is it. Beautiful, aren't they? There's the bundle. Uh, oh. Oh, okay, that was, that was about to frighten the life out of me then. Right, so, that's all right then. Uh, we'll go through the book in a minute for you, because so, aren't there loads of projects in this book as well? Fantastic project. Imagine, imagine, well, I think, I, I, it depends what your favourite is, isn't it? There's Kaif, there's Amy Butler, and uh, Tula, you know what I mean? Fantastic. Okay, so where are we up to now? So you've sewn these together into half a square. Yeah, and then I've pressed these onto the seam open. Oh, okay. Um, I quite like pressing them to the print on this so that the solid centre sort of drops in a bit and it looks like a frame. I mean, you can press... The way you press the seams is personal preference, yes. really. But also that way you don't see... If you press them that way, you, you don't see it coming through the fabric you don't, there. You don't get that outline, do yeah. Okay, so then next... And then, same as before, we join them in pairs on... So sew those, these two on press and then sew these two on. Okay. Uh, while you do that, I'll just read. Good morning, both. So fantastic, fantastic to see you. What a stunning quilt design and fabric. Sending love to you both. That's Nicola in Oxfordshire. Morning. 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 Right, while you stitch those, let's have a look at this book. Um, you, you, get, you get the book. You get this book, right? This um, in the kit. You get this book in the kit. There's the one we're making. There you see. The tea type. Right, now let's just go through this book. Oh, look, there's a Dresden there. I love that. <coughs> right, introduction. What is a jelly roll, it says. Uh, basic sewing equipment that you need. Cutting your own strips if you haven't got a jelly roll. Um, 
Stitching the patch up. Oh, sorry. Right. And then, it's, so it's got all the techniques to start with, basic quilting materials. <coughs> you see, if I just want, I just want to go straight to the, um, the designs, you see. But it's got all of, all these different techniques and the different quilting designs that you need afterwards. We might not get to get time to quilt this later, but you can either follow the lines of the quilt or, like the one on the front, it's got a swirly-whirly. I'm sure that's got a technical term, the swirly-whirly one. We'll ask Joe what that's called later. Swirly-whirly. Oh, it's just called swirly-whirly. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. How to bind your quilt. You see, all of this information, all of this information before you even start. Right, then look, all the projects are listed there. All the projects listed before you even start. So then, you've got woven dreams. So these are all made from design rolls, remember? It tells, you on the, it tells you on the front here how much you need of everything, right? Let me just put my glasses on. So if you wanted the quilt size 54 by 69 and the block size there, one a jelly roll, one design roll, but then also you need other fabrics here for the, what they're calling the uh, wefts. You see what I mean? There's just... So if you like the way that this book's... You're going to get the fabric for all of these in your, in your bundle, but... Um, for the one we're making, but you could make that one. There's enough fabric to make that one because you could use the spotty fabric for the, um, do you know what I mean? Like, that, that'd be an, uh, you could make all of that out of the je jelly roll. Do you know what I mean? It's just fantastic. It'll tell you exactly what you need for each one. Then we move, and look at, look at how detailed. Oh, now this is what Joe was saying. What's left over from the jelly roll, it then tells you that you can make something else. So that's like a, a humbug doorstop. You can, that's what, it's, that's what they're saying, isn't it? You can make all these lovely little pieces. Look! That's for the flower garden, but they're Dresden's, aren't they? Those yeah. um, quilts there, those uh, blocks there. That's how, now, obviously, you couldn't make this one out of what we've supplied because you'd need that fabric, the backing fabric there, because it'll say here what you need. It says um, one jelly roll there, uh, but then you also need the background for the blocks and you need the flower centres and the frame. So it tells you exactly how much you need, but at least you have your basic because you've got your jelly roll in the kit and you've got the book. That is stunning, isn't it, that one? Oh, and then I wreath afterwards. And then we'll just carry on. Oh, that's sunny, uh, sunny Days. That's the one. Oh, that's not the one we're doing. The last thing. Well, wasn't the last thing we called was called Sunshine, wasn't it? That's what I'm getting confused with. Sunny Days. Not so sure I like that one very much. Let's move on. Ripples, oh, we like that one. So let's add that in any of the ones. You, uh, uh, you see, so what you need for that is uh, one jelly roll and then you'd need a uh, fat quarter for the center and then borders. Well, the borders you could use the spotty fabric. You see what I mean? There's so much. Beat, oh, little beach hut. Well, you Now, Hannah got in the car this morning when I picked her up, right? Now, remember, she can't get out of her house without the keys. And she got into my car, she went, I don't know where my keys are. And she's just unlocked her house and locked the door and walked down the lane. And then it was like, I haven't got my keys. I haven't got my keys. So one of those would be good. She does have key issues, yes. Uh, now, look. Now, we've done this one, haven't we, in there? We're only in miniature. That one's nice, isn't it? Again, all the things you'd need in there. I just think it's the most fabulous... Oh, look! Uh, Ohio star. Now, you see, for the star and the border, so for this and this, you need one uh, design roll, one jelly roll, but then you just need your background fabric and your backing on that one, wouldn't you? They don't mention uh, binding on any of these, do they, on the... Um... Oh, that's nice. You've got enough in yours. You've got enough in yours to do your binding and your backing. There's ours, tea time treat. The one we're doing, everything you need to do that, and then there's enough fabric left over to make your coasters, coffee or tea coasters. Then there's autumn floor, and then you've got sweet 60. Oh, blimey! Sweet 16, busy one, isn't it? Ah, uh, brilliant, 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 brilliant. All that comes in the kit, all of that comes in the bundle. Right, sorry, we'll carry on, Joe. Did you okay. want to get to the iron? Yes, yeah, no, uh, 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 um, yep, yep, yep. <coughs> uh, so. Stitch those two on for a bit of press. And again, I'm pressing the seams outwards, away from the centre, yeah. just to give it a bit of depth. There we go. All right. And then join the other sides 
on. And now I've left these dog ears on because I find it easier to match up. Oh, yes. I'm going to check as well. And then pin. It's a little bit easier if you sew on this side. You can make sure your seam is going to cross where th those seams meet so you get a nice crisp point. Yes. Let me repin that because that wasn't a nice clean. That point. wasn't a nice clean. No. There we go. I see what you mean about this. It's not complicated, but it's going to be time consuming. But I imagine once you're sitting at your machine, you've got all your triangles around you. It's quite therapeutic just to keep. Yes, I'd love. There's something that's steady and rhythmic. I think it's really relaxing. It's nice. Project. I mean, it's lovely to get a quilt finished, but I prefer making it really the process and just how relaxing yes. that can be. Well, look how relaxed it's made you today. I know. <coughs> so laid back today. But is it like when you make a quilt, is it like, you know, when you read a really, really good book and you finish it and you're like, oh, I didn't want that to finish. And it takes you a while to get on with your next one because you're still loving the last one so much. Yes, I, I, yeah, I quite miss, especially if it's a technique I like. Yes. We still haven't done the farmyard one yet, counting sheep. I know. I'm going to do that one. Yeah, we have to do that one. And don't forget, Hannah wants you to make your budgie into a robin for Christmas. I think it's easily tweaked into a... Tweet. Tweet. Tweeted. Tweak. Tweeted. Oh, yes. Then she's got this thing she wants to do, a collection. You know that book? You might not have had it when you were little. When I was little, we had these little kind of countryside books, and you got um, birds of the countryside, uh, flowers, countryside... Fl Sorry, just threw... Oh, pin at me. They're the that new pins. So I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. Sorry, John. But she wants you to do a whole collection of countryside, English countryside birds. And then you could collect them all. I know. I could do that. As you know, you wouldn't know. I might get fed up with the legs after a yeah. bit. They're quite skinny birds. Don't they legs. have different legs? Yeah, but they're all skinny. All oh, right. There's not, a, there's not a bird with a chunky leg. Or maybe there is. What do you want to make? Yeah. OK, she wants to do a bird that's got blue legs, does a funny dance. And went, I'm not going to say that, because I said that the other day, didn't I? Yesterday. Called the blue footed. Mm -mm. I think any bird with blue legs would make a great toy. Yes. Well, didn't Rod Hull's emu have blue legs anyway? Oh, mate, oh, that terrified me, that bird. I know, and me. Right. And so, then that, so that's your mid, that's your centre block there. So then you make four of those. Four of those. I've well, you've got two. Already. Trim off, square it up, trim off the. Dog ears. Yeah. Every time, every time I have to double check. Dog ears. Definitely dog ears. Yeah. And then when you have four of those, you want to join them in pairs. You got four already made. I have. Oh, well done. Where did I hide them? That's really and what have we done with them now? Fantastic. So okay. you've joined two together. You'll join those two together, will you? And then join them together to make the four. Yes. And then that's that block complete and then sashing the sides and joining them in rows. If you were doing the full quilt, you'd join the three side by oh, side yes, yes, before yes, 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 adding yeah. these bits. Yeah. Um, please be aware these are very, very limited uh, bundles, very, very limited kits in this hour. When I join, I'll show this bit, because I want this point to line up with this point here. Yeah. When I pin them, I'll pop a pin through point on that one and through that one so that so that those points are lined up there yeah and then I will pin either side oh okay so it doesn't move so hopefully that will hold the points in alignment and you get a nice sharp point there we go and I'll take that one out I want to line up these corners as well it's lovely to get points. Oh, on. yes, spot on. But if they, it's not the end of the world if they don't. Especially Imagine there's so much going like on, isn't there? But with all the triangles coming together, you can then see 
all sorts of different shapes going on, can't you? Where, like, you know, like where the four of them join together, there's a square of triangles here, isn't there? I love this one that forms in the... Yeah, the one that forms in the middle there. Just wait for them to come in. There you see, look, I like this. So when you join together, you get the, again get the square in the middle made of like almost isosceles triangles they are, don't they, with them pointing in like that. Is Hannah talking to us? This one. Yeah. Hannah's just saying she loves this one down in the corner here because it looks so different when you cut it into a triangle for what because it's this one here, you see. Hopefully these points yeah. will match up. Oh, not bad. Oh, not bad. Perfect, I'd say. Now which way would you would you so would you would you press that open? I'd press that open, yes. All right. That means you that foot. If you wouldn't mind. Well, just drop the iron on the floor. <clears throat> I did that at Pavers this week. I was ironing my shirts and turned around and knocked the iron flying. <laughs> right. There is oh, no, I'm pressing open. I'm doing it wrong. My sewing room floor does have a, a melty iron shaped bit in the carpet. Oh, does it? Mm. Did you not get the insurance on that? I'd have to tidy the room and move oh, things okay. out to be able to take the carpet. To let the insurance <laughs> man in. <laughs> <clears throat> right, so I'll press that one open. Do quilters never use steam? The steam, the steam on this iron's always switched off. It can distort the shapes. Oh, okay. It can, the steam, the moisture and the fibre. You can use steam. If no, 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 I'm just, I'm just asking because... And then, I want to join them like that, so make yep. sure that I've... Oh, yeah, yeah, I haven't got the same, okay. same, same. I quite like two, the same, not quite touching. Yes. So I'll pin these But together. now, how many triangles have you got to match on this one, then? You've got four. So quite a few points yes. on this one. So we've got these side bits, one, two, five, oh. all together. But the most important one, which I'm going to start with the center. I just suddenly thought, I'm really enjoying this out. And I suddenly thought, oh, I better check the time. Have we still got that? Are we still on air? <laughs> there we go. Oh, now I've just got a bit of a stock warning. They're all limited, but the CAFE one, uh, down to five, did you say? It's down to five already. The CAFE one is down to five available already. <clears throat> That's all I'm going across the bottom. I will go through it all again for you in a minute, yes. So again, I'm putting the, a pin through the point to make sure they're in exactly the same place. I think it's a little, well, any of those fabrics it'd look beautiful in. I've really enjoyed making this. So. Sorry, what did you say, John? I've loved making this. I, well, I, the thing is, it's, it, we're not talking very much because it's like uh, almost mesmerising, <laughs> isn't it? Also, it's, it's such a, a bold statement, but from quite a simple beginnings, isn't it? Because like you it say, is. it's only squares and triangles. That's all it is. Oh, and there'll be a, there's a oblongs coming up in a little one, a sashing, isn't there? Or rectangles, should I say, not oblongs. But the white, I think, really sets off the print and really makes them stand out. Right, so I'll stitch this together quickly, move these. See, look at the... Um, there you see the white, Joe was saying, the white re... Do you know what it would also work on? I mean, it would make it a completely different story, but if you had a black background... It would. But that would be for... I don't think that would be very good as a picnic. Black would be a bit heavy for, you know... Well, it would be quite dramatic in your bedroom, wouldn't it? It would. I didn't have seen it on the monitor then. Yes. That sort of star almost... Oh, look at you. In the... Check it out on the monitor there, John. <laughs> it's six months ago. <laughs> Uh, which picture, like? Sorry, just go onto the monitor this, to this one. It, you could almost see the star that forms in the centre as well. Where are you looking, Joe? There. Just a, so the star. So these. Oh points. yes. 
See, it's, it's one of those things where you look at things different. You know, when you look at a picture and you can either see Leonardo da Vinci's face or Madonna's, and then once you've seen <laughs> one of them, you can't see the other one. Do you know what I mean? Right, now Hannah's saying, if she went into the shop, there's no way she'd pick all those colours to go together, but they work so well together. Well, you wouldn't, would you? Because you you just, you'd just be... A... And also, the fact that you can't buy... You couldn't go to shops at all, just have two and a half inches of that one, two and a half inches... Because, you know what I mean, the minimum normally is some shops 50 centimetres, some shops 20 centimetres, but you're not going to have the, the joy of it all being in a design role all done for you. It does make it much easier. And because I've used, I think, is it 12 different prints per... Small square blocks. Yes. And you know, selecting that many fabrics that work together and then sort of chopping them up, it makes it so much easier yeah. having oh, the yes. design role. Well, that's why I love about um, fat quarters and charm packs. It's all, all the work's done for you, isn't it, really? That's where I'm weakest as well, selecting colours and prints. I'm, I'm okay with shape and things, but I, I still am unsure. This way you know it's going to work by the time you finish. Yes, see, oh yeah, imagine, oh, imagine if you bought all your fabrics and you got halfway through and you went, oh, this isn't working. This I've isn't done working that for me. And also remember when you buy this, when it arrives at your door, you're ready, apart from the thread, you're ready to go. You can just start it straight away. Okay, so we have... Okay, have, Pre I take, oh. have I taken all the pins out? Was that pressed out? Was it uh, pressed it open again? Pressed open, please. Uh-huh. Well, you've already put a sash in on that one. Therese has just um, messaged in. Good morning, John and Joe. It's my birthday today. Can't decide which one to buy. Too much choice. Therese in Merseyside. Oh, Therese. Happy birthday, my love. Are you like me? Are you 39? Uh, Hannah says she doesn't believe that I'm 39. How could you not? <laughs> what is there not to believe? Except yesterday I was saying about... Um, I was saying about how um, yesterday or the day before was the hottest day since 1976. And I have to do my O-levels in 1976, <laughs> which oh. means I can't be 39. Right, OK. And then I've sashed either side of this one right. already. And then you can join this one on. The sashing strips are four and a half inches wide. And that's in, and the, that's in the measurements are in the book, aren't they? They are, 16 and a half inches long. Sash either side. And these sections are just the same triangles again, cut from the roll. So they're paired together, stitched together, and then two pairs joined together along the centre like uh, that. So, but is it smaller? Oh, no, no, because no. by the time you've got the seam allowance, that's because it looks bigger, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. Um, so it tells you how... Now, I notice, would you put the sash on this one before you attach it to that one. Because if you put that there, you've then got a, a, a right angle seam to do there, haven't you? Oh no, because you'd fold, sew it and then fold it over. Which, before, now, talk, talking rubbish. You'd make a whole length, wouldn't you? Yes. And then stitch it to that one. And then stitch it all the way yes. along, making sure that these are um, all meet. aligned. Yes. So I've made a couple. Oh yeah. So I'd have more strips. This will give the idea of the finished. Oh, we've got so many bits and pieces down here. There we go. Because you're too relaxed. I know, too relaxed. Not keeping track of things. No, I know. The impact. Is there another, another white one in there? Let me just do it that. Is, it? Oh, it is. Okay. Have you got another white one I there? I have, have. Oh, look. And this is only just about that, half. Yes. So, so there's another... Um, did we say nine? Three by three. So one, yeah. So one, two, one, two, three, four. So the, in the bund, in the bundle, you make another five of these for the finished. That's one big. Uh, that's one big um, picnic ba bag. Um, you see now. You see, I don't like that computer-generated one because it's not so saying anything to me. But when you see Joe's, that's how big yours will be. You see, but you don't see it now. You can see this. This is only uh, almost half. Of your quilt. This is ho almost half your quilt. There's another five of these. It's going to look incredible, isn't it? I love how the dark ones stand out. Yes. And when when you got this one out earlier, Hannah was like, oh, I love that navy blue one that goes there. It is just fantastic, isn't it? The way and with all three of the fabrics that um, have been chosen to, to do this one, be fantastic. this is the Amy Butler one, isn't it, this one? 
Uh, show, have we got anything else to show here, or should I just have a? Oh, I've got ages yet. Um, put, put, a sash, put, some, put some sashes together, yeah. Okay. Just going to finger press and pin out from the centre either way. Because you want them lining up evenly. So now, uh, we're not going to get to quilting today. If you were making this one for your home, house, picnic area. How would you quilt it? Because as I said, on the front cover, they've done the swirly-whirly one, haven't they? But how, do, how would you quilt it? I tend to go with straight lines. Yes. Um, almost always. But I don't know, I would be tempted to go with, because you've got these squares, these bold square shapes. Maybe a, a swirly pattern would be a nice... Yeah, I, but contrast. I'm like you, you see. I think, I think that's lovely, the one on the cover. But I'd be tempted, because it's so geometric, to stay with geometric. Maybe not follow it exactly, but still do straight line, or do diamond, do triangle lines or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Or do stitching going across there, maybe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's, um, but now, so when you put all nine together and the sashing together, it's quite a big quilt to then put together because that's obviously we're only doing the topping, the top of it here, but there's enough wadding and there's um, the, the white fabric to make the backing as well. So, ha, ha, would you, pr oh. you've got the great big piece of white fabric at the bottom, so you put that on your floor. This is where you sellotape things to your floor, isn't it? Wishy-washy tape things I to your masking floor. Masking tape, yes, I give it a good press and then tape it to the floor, pull it taut and sort of adjust the tape at the side to make sure it's really flat. So almost like a picture canvas. Yes. Yeah. So that's your backing fabric. That's my backing. Then you put your wadding down and your wadding slightly bigger. I have my backing and my wadding slightly bigger than the quilt top yeah. because some shifting, and actually I, I have come a cropper with that before. Yeah. The backing shifted so much that oh, no. it, I had to put, it was normal size binding from the front, but there was more of a fold over on the, the back. back to cover over. So then, so then how do you keep all three layers together? When, how do you put all three layers together before you start quilting it? There oh, are... no, hang on. Would you, you quilt it and then you bind it, don't you? So you've got to quilt it before you put the binding yes. on. Yes. And I would base it together. You can use spray base, so um, it's a repositional it's a glue that you yeah. can spray on. Available on our website. So you'd spray it onto the backing and then put the wadding over and then spray again to fix, onto the, the, wadding. To fix the top on. Or you can pin baste with safety pins. Um, so you pin every, I don't know, I tend to do about every three or four inches. So it takes a lot of safety pins. Yeah. Um, or you can um, hand sew basting stitches to hold it all together. But the more, the better basted it is, the less chance it is of slipping and sort of gather, puckering up on the back and getting tucks in it and things. All right. Um, right. Uh, yes, John, Therese is 39 as well. Lots of love. Laugh out loud. Uh, right. Uh, I'm going to leave you pinning that. OK. Uh, thank you very much. You're back in an hour, aren't you, with... Yeah. A railroad crossing block. Oh, yes, railroad crossing, railroad crossing, which is flying geese. It's posh flying geese, isn't <laughs> it? Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Right. Bundles, bundles, bundles. Amy Butler first. So remember, in the kit, you get the wadding. I'm going to move that off the table. I just want to make a bit of space. You get the book. All of this comes in, that lovely book I've been showing you. All of that comes in the kit. Then you get all of this. You get six metres of the antique white. You get one metre of the papaya spot. And then the one that you've seen Joe using there. You get the whole of this, the um, Amy Butler. You get the aim, but you get 30 pieces in the design roll there. When it arrives at your door, you'll have everything apart from thread. You'll have everything, everything, everything to make with that with. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bit of space because I want to... Yeah, I'm, I won't shut it, don't worry. Right, which one? Okay, next. Right, because we've only got less than five of these left now. So you get six metres of the optical white. You get one metre... Oh, we're down to how many? Oh, we're down to four now, yeah. Uh, the, opti uh, the spot on, a metre of that. And then you get your, this is how it arrives at your house. But these are the fabrics here. And they're just beautiful. If you have a just look at the way these are all going to work together. So you were saying? 
Incredible. Now, this is the uh, red in the uh, classic collective range that Kaif and his friends did. They're beautiful. Aren't they? Can you imagine all these colours together? Absolutely exquisite, aren't they? I wish I could show you what the triangles would all look like, but. Um, putting all the th fabrics out so you can see all the different colours. There you go, all those gorgeous colours. You'll get all of those in your kit for £159. There's the kit. And then very quickly, I'll put out the... Um, here we go, look at these. Look at these gorgeous colours. I'll just spread them out like this because the colours are just going to work. They're sumptuous, aren't they? They're just beautiful. All these fantastic colours. Now, you do get more in this one. You get uh, 40 pieces in the Tula Pink one, so you'll have lots of leftover to make other things with. Um, £174.95. I understand it's considered, but when you think of how much you can pay for a quilt, do you know what I mean? I, I, I've seen them, I know, because I've been in that and bought them in the past. There is the Tudor pink one, you get 40 pieces, and you also get the six meters of the uh, white and one meter of the uh, aqua spot on, and the wadding, and the book, for £174.95. And remember, when you left over in the book, the leftover fabrics, you can make something else, and they've got little projects like the doorstop or the little coasters and things like that. Right, I'm going, I'm going, Lucy's up next with the most adorable, adorable little children's quilt with, um, well, it's got a very nautical feature. Don't go anywhere, I'm going to have my strawberries now. See you in three minutes from now. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. The circus is rolling into town this weekend as two viewer favourites make a welcome return to our screens. Tune in on Saturday the 24th of June when Joe Carter will demonstrate how to make two magical soft toys in the form of a circus elephant and its mischievous monkey friend. With Joe's expert guidance and these handy kits from much-loved craft brand Tilda, it's easy to make your own. So join us for some monkey business and see Joe bring these quirky characters to life in front of your very eyes on Saturday the 24th of June at 9am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. There are many ways you can watch Sewing Quarter. We are live every day on Freeview Channel 78 and online at sewingquarter.com from 8am till 12 noon. But if you've missed a show, don't worry, there are two easy ways to catch up. The first is through our website, www.sewingquarter.com, where we repeat that morning's shows throughout the day. On the homepage, you'll see our video stream. Click on the video to hear sound and see a list of the products that we have shown in that day's shows. The second way to catch up is on our YouTube channel. All our shows are kept on YouTube, so if you buy a product and want to see the demonstration again, you can. Go to www.youtube.com forward slash sewing quarter where you'll find all our shows listed by date. Select your preferred date then, using the description beneath the video, jump to the hour you want to watch. Then you can pause, rewind, play and skip your way to the bits that you want to watch again. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more.
Here at The Sewing Quarter, we want to help you with your levels of sewing. Whether you're a novice or you've been sewing for years and years, we want this to be a fabulous learning curve for all of you. Whether it's making a little gift or making yourself a fabulous outfit, we will be working with some of the UK's biggest designers. You have to join us for that. Don't forget, our sister brands are some of the leading brands in the industry. With Love Patchwork and Quilting being rated top modern quilt title on the market, today's quilter has achieved market leadership in the traditional quilt sector. And finally, Simply Sewing was launched in February 2015 after noticing a gap in the market for beginners. Combined, we reach over 150,000 readers every month. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. How gorgeous is that? Isn't it lovely? I just think it's the most adorable little... Right now, would you call it a lap quilt? Uh, well, we'll look at the size in a minute. It's lovely, isn't it? Now, guess what? Lucy's here to show you how to make that. But before we go over to Lucy, we have bundled the whole caboodle together for you. So if you want to make that quilt exactly as you've just seen it there, this is all you need. This is all you need here, isn't it? We've got a really, really, I mean, it's called the Nautical Baby Quilt. So you get this, um, uh, like a book, is this one called the Bookazine as well? This one's like, a, oh, it's lovely. I'll show you, I'll take you through that in a second. So in the kit, you get this, you get the book, you get your thread, you get your um, wadding, which is a really lovely warm and white wadding there. And then you also get a three and a half meters, three and a half, I know, Three and a half meters of fabric in there. You get half a meter of this, the bright red spot. Baby blue, half a meter. Oh, there's more than that, isn't it? Okay. A uh, baby blue plain, you mean? Oh, yeah, sorry. Baby blue plain, you get half a meter. You get a meter. Now, they call this cobalt. Uh, there's no way that that's cobalt, but they call it cobalt. But you get a meter of it. You get a meter of that. You get, and then you, there's the white and the other blue. You get a metre of the cornflower at half a metre of the corn. We've been busy on the antique white today, haven't we? So you get all of this, all of this, all of this. That price isn't right, is it? That's a fantastic price if that's all of that. Anyway, it is. That's it. My word, that's amazing. It's not, sorry, I'm, I'm a bit gobsmacked. I was expecting it to be an awful lot more than that. I was going to say about £72 or something like that. Oh, fantastic, come with me. Oh, I was going to say, I'll bring the quilt. I haven't got the quilt. <laughs> Lucy, look at this lovely quilt I've got here. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's just so cute, isn't it? And the fact that we've done it, it exactly really as you've pretty. done it there. Right, let's get going. Let's get making it. Is it difficult to make? No, it's very simple to make. Um, there are lots of different quilts in the book. Yeah, which we'll go through in a second. Yeah, so we're focusing on the sailing, sailing one. I did construct it a little bit differently from how it oh, was. Oh, did you? Has everybody in the book. been a rebel I today? I did, I'm a rebel. Okay. Um, because it gives you the templates for the... Um, it's a square and a triangle right. template, which you'd need to cut them all out. But I do it a quicker way. Okay, so let's just let's first before we do it your mm -hmm. way. Yep. How do the books? So there's a template in here, is there to cut out? So there's a template in there. I think it's page sixty-three. I'll turn it around so you can see it. I think. This is the last page you need. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so I think it's those two there. Right. That okay, are the I'll just show those. Those two there. Right, so they say, cut out so many triangles in each of the different fabrics, cut out mm -hmm. so many squares in each of the different fabrics, mm -hmm. and then start sewing them together. Yes, but the, okay, but the you... squares are two and a half inches. Right. So rather than use 
the template, I just used the ruler and the rotary cutter to oh, do... Oh, because they're squares. Two yes, and a exactly. half inch squares, yeah. which I will need a ruler. I've just noticed the oh, ruler's yes. not there. Um, yeah. and, then, um, and then for the half square triangles, for the, for the uh, base of the boat, you need two there yes, so the, yeah. that's the half square triangle there and there right so you need two and then for the sails you need four right so i'm using the two different methods the four in one method and the two in one okay method. brilliant so i can run through both no 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 that's good those. so there's, there's a choice you can either do it the way it says in the book or yes. you can do it your way yes. we're going to show you lucy's way now yeah it's just a bit it's just a bit quicker so okay anything yeah, yeah, we you like know, that. But if you're new, if you're new and you're thinking, oh, I don't understand Lucy's method, you can. There's still a method in the book that you can just follow everything in the book. Yeah. But this is a time saving. It's a time saver. Yeah. So okay. you need the two um, two squares that are. I'm just going to check three and a half inches right. to do the two at, at once. Yes. Yeah. And then you need two squares that are four and a half right. inches to make the four at once. Is there a ruler coming? So I'll do the four in one yeah, first. Yeah. So I'm going to sew all the way around oh, yes, with, now this, with a quarter this is, of an inch. Is, yes, okay. But now before, is this one where you go all the way around the outside? So go all the way around right. the outside. Before you do that, this is what we suggest, isn't it? Yes. Spray yeah. starch your fabric first because in a minute you're going to see that normally when you're cutting a triangle, two of the edges are on the straight. Yes. Right, I'll just move that out of the way for you. There you go. Um, but but the, the, some of the, the way Lucy's doing it, they're going to be on the bias. So sometimes it's best to spray starch your fabric first, which is going to make it easier to work with. It's going to stabilise it a little bit, isn't it? Yes. And also, it just gives it... It makes it... I don't want to say easier to work with, but... No, it but you're right, it is. It is slightly easier yeah. to work with. Yeah, OK. Yeah. So that's 4 95 Now, we've only got it in the lavender at the moment, but we love this, don't we? Yeah, we the do. The lavender flavour is very relaxing, they say, don't they? Yeah. Don't go to sleep while no, you're making don't go it. To no. sleep. But you see, I pay a fortune for that. You know, the woman who used to own um, run Vogue, and she's now got her own view. I get the spray to put on. I've got I've got some for little Paul for last Christmas, but that's by the by. I would just use that on fabric, though. Yes, don't go, yes. Don't go put it on your bed. But, 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 yes, yes. Oh yeah, we got this. Uh, Hannah's got the sleep spray. It doesn't. But work it does well. smell nice. No, it doesn't work for me either. No. No. So I'm going to go up, um, around the edge with a quarter inch seam. And um, I'd like to start at, at one edge and go all the way around, just pivoting in the corners. Yes. Oh, well, Sarah's emailed in. You keep sewing. Well, Sarah, Sarah, she's just emailed in saying, um, what a wonderful price for whole quilt. I was shocked. I was completely shocked. It's a brilliant price for all of that. You get everything, everything you need, even the thread in this one. Even thread, so the booklet, the fabric, the thread, and the batting, the wadding, for $47.95. I think that's a brilliant price. Yeah, maybe if it's your first quilt. Fantastic, yeah? Getting all, getting all there. And also, it's just squares and triangles, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, and, the, and some rectangles for the sashing. Oh, all right. And then, then. some borders. Show me up, then. <laughs> so just triangles and squares and sashes and borders. Just for the blocks. And it's, binding. The blocks is, <laughs> yeah. The blocks is just um, squares and... Right, we're calling it a baby triangle. quilt. Hannah's saying she'd quite like it. Where would you, you, Hannah and her flatmate, Karen, um, they um, spend a lot of time wrapped up on... on no, Karen's not allowed on the sofa. <coughs> Karen's only allowed to sit on her chair, <laughs> and Hannah has the sofa. But she said, oh, a nice chair to sit in. Um, but they, you spend Sundays wrapped up like that, don't you? Well, not always Sundays, because sometimes she's in here. Uh, do we yeah. need the iron on? Yeah, we will need the iron. Yeah, um, so I've sewn all the way around <coughs> the edge with a quarter inch seam, and then I'm just going to cut on the diagonal from corner to corner, make one cut, and then make another cut across. So we'll end up with four half square triangles. So do you want to do this? No, no, you do it. I'm going to do some reading. <laughs> You're going to do some reading. Tanya. Okay, okay. Right. <laughs> Uh, uh, right, now, now uh, Tanya, my lovely, uh, just so you know, uh, she said, I've just found this great site on Facebook, meaning, meaning us. I would love to give this a go. Uh, I have a sewing machine, but nothing else. Is there a kit that would... And then it's run out of messages. Uh, this kit's got everything in it, but, but, but I need to know what you're asking. Is there a kit that would... 
So would you either send me another message, Sana, with the second half of your message or email in. That's the best way to do it. The email is studio at Thank you, Tanya. I think it's got like a limit, hasn't it? Yes, it's got a amount of characters. They're supposed to be yeah. fixed in it. But... Right, OK, sorry. So I've made one cut. Yes. And then I'm using the rotating mat so I can just spin it round because we don't oh. want to move those pieces because yes. we don't want um, Rotating any... mat by Ulfa. £32.95 going across the bottom of your screen there. It's frightening now that I'm remembering all the prices without it yeah. probably even come in. <laughs> no, I haven't forgot my gemstones yet. It's I'm planning I, to. And I use this one quite a lot because yes. I, I do really like it. So then we can open those out. Right, and that's can I just explain? This is why we said it'd be good to starch it because if you look here, now we've cut this bit. That's on the bias and that's on the bias. So when you open your square up, You've got bias, 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 because there, that's your straight of a grain there, isn't it? So if it's been starched, then it won't let it waver yeah, or wobble and if about. The, and these edge, you know, if you pull that, you've got quite a lot of stretch, stretch in yeah. that. So, um, and you can double starch as well. You can starch all your fabrics before you begin, and then as you're pressing, you can double starch you can now. Just make sure you've got a tea towel to do it in. Yeah, lots of people asking about this. I did say we haven't mentioned this yet. Uh, I'll go through this in a minute when I can recharge yeah. it. Well, I'm just going to Oh, you press. do ironing and yeah. I'll tell you about this. Yeah. It's been out all show and we haven't even mentioned it yet. Look, <laughs> take your time. And it's very pretty. We love it. We love this. Now, Hannah and I chose this one specially for you today. We like to call it the tropical. It's a premiere, right? A premiere. Um, it's, it's, dis dis it's displayed so beautifully, isn't it? Like Munch has done like, and today's winner will get... But isn't it lovely? You get everything. You get every, you see, now look, you see that price? There's something going on with the prices today. So for $29.95, you get this like hamper of haberdashery. So you get, right, let me take everything off, right? So you get, first of all, you get the box, right? The lovely box, sturdy, look, 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 look. look. Isn't it gorgeous, magnetic cluster, right? Everything goes there, but oh, you also get, right, go on then, oh, this is all for $29.95. You get a thread pack. You get a match, oh no, I've got to show you this. You get a matching bee cushion. <laughs> right, next. Dressmaking pins. Get all this for $29.95. Oh, no, hang on. They're the berry pins. They're the dressmaking pins. Tape measure. Scissors. Scissors. Needles. And then, and then a compact. So you t what you do is you turn the top, and there's this little opening. You slide one needle out at a time. Twenty-nine ninety-five. $29.95 for all of that. Premiere today. I'm just showing you off my pincushion. You can't oh. see all the things in the basket. <laughs> I love it. I'd, buy it. I'd pay $29.95 just for that. Me, I love that. Right, OK. Get on with it, Lucy. OK. I'll put this away. So I've what just... a fantastic gift, though. $29. Yes, I wonder, beautiful. I'm wondering if Tanya was saying, I've got a sewing machine, but I haven't got anything else. Maybe she wants all of this. Oh, yeah. Oh, she, oh, perhaps she's been back. She'll ask about rulers. I'll do that in a minute, Tanya, then, for you, Mother. OK. Right. So I've just given those a press, and I've pressed over to the... It's not dark, yeah, dark but, you size. know, the darker side. Um, and so now we want to um, square these up, so we want to get <gasps> it to... Oh, before I go any further, sorry yes. to interrupt, I've got another surprise for you this. In 15 minutes' time... You're going to love it, right? I've got another surprise for you. And we all... When we saw it, it only arrived this morning, didn't we? And we all went, the pink about. thing. Oh, yes, the pink thing, yeah. Right? That's the only clue I'm giving you, right? In 15 minutes, we all went, oh, like this. Uh, Hannah, especially. <laughs> Hannah went crazy <laughs> over it. Anyway, let's carry on, because this is a brilliant kit for £47.95. Carry on. Yeah. OK, so um, I'm using the ruler. I want the two and a half, so it's where that dashed line is. Yes. There. So I want to cut these down, trim them down right. to two and a half inches. So what are these? Are these the, the sails? So these are the sails, yes. yeah. So I'm trimming off the dog ears and just any, you know, there will yes. be a bit extra because yes. they're yeah. made a bit larger. So you want to line up the um, 45 degree line that comes out from the corner. 
on and we're this. cutting these back to four and a half. Uh, two and a half, excuse me. Uh, the, the, the sewing box I've just done there, if you are ringing the call centre, it's called the Summer Bundle, apparently. Is that right? Tahiti Treats Summer Bundle. If you... Oh, OK, that, there you go. That, so, so this is the Summer Bundle. The box is the Summer Bundle. And then this is called the um, Nautical Baby Quilt at the back here. Right. So I'm just going to keep doing that. So I've got four You're loving to do. that. You're loving. Let's you're see. loving. Do you know what that reminds me of? That um, Elvis film. Which one? The Hawaii, the one where he's in Hawaii. And he wears all the Hawaiian shirt. No. Oh. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, now, you've got a rotating mat. I have, but because I've, I want to get those out of the way, okay. you know, I, I don't need to rotate okay. it. You can if you want to. Just trying to help. <laughs> Thank you. So there's not very much waste no. with these. Um, if you want to make them, you know, bigger and trim it back, if you're, if it's the first time making them, you can do start with a bigger square and trim it back. But this just means that you're going to get really nice points because you know, yes, you know, the the lines are correct and everything, and and that your square is the right size. Now, take you change your needle in the break, because yes. we did um, the foundation piecing earlier, yeah. didn't we? Now, if you put that in a safe place, play foundation piecing needle. Yes, it should be. Oh, I've locked that. Yep. There we go. Actually, you can lock it open as well, which is what I did there. Oh. Somehow. Not, I don't know that you'd need to, really, but... Oh, somebody just asked in the Tahiti kit, what scissors do you get? They're called craft scissors by Core Bond. They're nice because they've got pink, soft touch uh, in there. Uh, what size are these? Let's see. Cool Bond craft scissors are ideal for use in arts and crafts, small, versatile, and easy to handle, suitable for use in card making, decoupage, scrapbooking, kids' crafts, knitting, and crochet, paper mache, felting, cross stitch, and much, much more. Caution scissors can be dangerous if misused. Seven inches there. That's your fantastic bundle, Game Cluster. That's my, my regular scissors that I use at home are Core Bond, and they're fantastic. I've been using them for years. Okay. They're still okay. sharp. Yeah, they're really good. You just love that, don't you? <laughs> I could be... Oh, you're not using any pins. Will you be using pins later? I will be later, right. yes. You can just keep putting your arm out. Oh, for Gerardine. Me. Gerardine. She oh, knows my brother, Gerardine. Gerardine. Hello, Lucy and John. I love your shows. The wrist demo was fabulous, Gerardine. Have you seen my brother recently, Gerardine? I can't get hold of him. <laughs> You'd oh. send messages via Gerardine. Well, she, Gerardine works with him, you see. Right. So she can pop into this there operating theatre and, and go, <laughs> your brother needs to speak to <laughs> the brother with the pink cushion. <laughs> oh, do you know what I'm like now? My friend Beth does modelling on a shopping channel where they sell all sorts of things, three letters, right? And she does the jewellery, and she's like this. <laughs> anyway, carry on. Lovely. No, I'm not these ones. So those are my four, those will be my four sales. sales. Yeah. And then I need two half square triangles for the, for the end of the boat. Ends of the boats. So I'm going to do that a different way because, I mean, if, you, if you're doing the four blocks, you could do it the four in one. Right because you'd have enough to make each block if you did it slightly yes. bigger, but I'm just doing the two for today, okay. so I'm doing it with a different method. So oh, okay. um, for this, we're going to draw a line. Is this the same as the book method, or is this different again? No, this is, this is <coughs> the oh, way no, I'm doing it. Oh, no, because the book method's so. told you how many triangles to cut out. Well, in the, yeah, and you, you, you are cutting out triangles then. Yes. So you still will be working with bias, which is why edges, the, yeah, the starch was, yeah. is good. So even if you're cutting out the templates, it's useful to have the starch. So these were the three and a half inch squares. Yeah. So I've got one that's the sea and one that's the boat. Oh, right, okay. And so I'm drawing a line from corner to corner. It doesn't matter which, which um, fabric you draw that on yeah. or which corner, oh, indeed, okay. unless you were doing some, but no, you're you're not, not, we're using the red one. Yeah. Um, so then we're just putting those right sides together and I'm going to sew two lines. Oh, this is Hannah's favourite trick, yeah. A quarter of an inch away from that line. So I'm not sewing on that line. I'm sewing a quarter inch that side yeah. and then a quarter inch that side. She always does it wrong because she sees the line and she thinks, I have to sew on the line. 
I still do that. I think you just see a line no, no. and you want Even to get says, you want to right, go I'm on it. I'm not going to sew these on the line, John. Yeah. Just go to the machine. And sew it on the line. This is Hannah, my producer, by the way. So I'm going to switch the foot over just to the regular foot because I find it tricky sewing on the fabric with the quarter inch. Let's see. Oh, oh, I see, Geraldine. I thought you'd be there in your scrubs and everything. My brother's a surgeon, so I presume Geraldine... Oh, I see. Thank you, Geraldine. Now, so I, have to, I, have to, I have to, to visualise a different picture of Geraldine now, because I had her, like, you know, in green scrubs and a fun little hat on and her hair up in a bun. No. No? No, she wears smart oh, right. clothes to work. Oh, right. Oh, she doesn't even do that job anymore. She does something else now. Oh, well. She's not going to get a message to it. <laughs> Blue Hawaii, the film was called, with Elvis there, in it. Thank you. Yes, Blue Loads Hawaii, of people that's me about it. That. Yes. And, and I hope they know what I mean. I'm glad they know what well, I mean. That's Blue Hawaii, yeah. I've got That's no the idea. film. Oh, lovely. Have you not seen it? I can't imagine. I was more of a Cliff Richards oh, really? than an Elvis. Oh, I'm an Elvis. We won't go with on the summer Some holiday. holiday. Is that the one with the bus, the red bus? Yeah. Oh, I love that film. <laughs> was Una Stubbs in it? She was, wasn't she? A very young Una Stubbs oh, in that. I'm sorry, I don't know. You don't know. So then we're just going to cut on the... So I've got the two lines either side. Yeah. See better on that. Two lines either side. Yeah. Bit of a nest. And, and then I'm going to cut that. Just down the middle. Yeah, and then again, we're going to trim these back. There we go. So we've got two. Yeah. Which are slightly bigger than we need, so I'll press them and then... Um, oh. Which oh. way would you like them pressed, madam? Lovely. Um, I think with the seam to the red side. That way? No, Other that way. Yeah. That way? Yeah. Because then the... Both You're getting more prominent. When you think you, I can't, I'm, I still think there's a mistake, and I'm not doing <laughs> shopping telly baloney, right? No. Forty-seven ninety-five. Thank you. Uh, just move out the way, please. <laughs> you get everything you need to make that. You get the book. You get the uh, thread. You get all of the fabric. You get the wadding. All for forty-seven pounds. All for £47.95. And we pounds. must show the book because there's lots of lovely Yes, I will show you the book. More. Hang on, I'm doing this. So I'm now. just trimming this back again now to two and a half. And it's really important that you get that line, you know, on that 45 degree angle so that your corners are going to meet really nicely. Yeah. That but one this, looks very wonky. It won't want to trim it. No, no, before you trim it. Yeah, before it? I trim it, yeah. So that's the end of the boat, isn't it, you're doing there? The yeah. So port these... and the, no, not the port and the starboard, is it? Or is it? Oh, I don't know Hang anything on. about that. I thought the port and the starboard were right and left, aren't they? Oh, that is port. What's aft and something else? Port, star... Oh, I don't know. I was useless in the... I was going to say the brownies then. I was never in the brownies. <laughs> <laughs> Right, lots of you got this bundle in your baskets. Please check out. Please check out. I've got quantity. I've got quantity, but it is going fast. Just saying. Well, especially as it's like half the price I thought it was going to be. You didn't. There we go. Yeah. No, no, because I can read it on the paper, can't I? I'm going to have to do more prep. That's what Hannah's saying. Do more prep, John, and work out. But I quite like being surprised by that, because when you're sitting there, I often think, I oh, wonder how much this is going to be, and then wait for the graphics to come in and think, that's a good price. Right, so Checking what's next? Blocked. So now we've got all the components that we need to make the block, so we just lay out. Oh, that's it now? Yeah. Oh, so we're just you're laying out. You're doing four blocks, aren't you? Laying out the blocks. So you, right. you have to, yeah, you have to do four blocks. I won't have time for that today. Oh, won't you? <laughs> Unfortunately not. And then we've just got to piece these together. Oh, I need, my, the I need to cut my red ones. I need to cut my red ones. I was going to say, there's no yeah. boat. I'm missing my boat. Oh, there oh. we go. So, so the, 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 the boat itself is just two, two straightforward squares, isn't it? Right, while well, you cut the boat, just... Oh, oh is it half past? Oh, not quite. And while you're cutting the boat, I'm going to go and introduce the um, surprise I was telling them about. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah. So I would cut it from a strip, so it's a two and a half 
inch, we just need two two and a half inch squares. Yeah, but, but, you, but you need more than that because you're going to be doing those two yeah. down there. Are those sashes or, oh yeah, they're not squares either, those are. No, so you just cut the, you can just cut long strips that are two and a half of inches. What? Oh yes, okay. Okay, so you cut strips that are two and a half inches and from that, you can cut your squares and, and you your can sashes. cut your sashing. Yeah. yeah. Sashing. Yeah. Okay, have a look at the quilt. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm so shocked. I'm going through this first, aren't I? Yeah. I'm so shocked by this price, but there you go. That's me. So you get the book, which we haven't been through yet. We'll go through that in a minute. You get this really lovely wadding, which is warm white wadding, which um, Lucy wants to talk to you about. Um, it's a baby size, this one, baby size. And then look at this, right? So you get the thread. And then you get here three and a half meters of your fabric. So you get half a meter of the red, is that right? Of the red, red spot. You get a meter, is that, no, there's more than a meter of that, isn't there? Oh yeah, there is a meter of that, meter of that. Meter of the corn flour. Then you got, no, that's a meter of the corn flour. And then half a meter of the um, baby blue and half a meter of the antique white. Yeah? Three and a half meters. No. A book. Well, I'll show you very quickly now while Lucy's still doing her cutting out, right? Look. Uh, look at all the projects it's got. Even that's just the first page, right? All the projects it's got there. And then look. The Floating hearts. That's an oh, that's a lovely one, isn't it? Floating hearts. Can we do floating hearts next, Lou? Baby's pal. What's that got there? Anyway, there you go. Oh, it's got frogs. It's got frogs in the middle. That one. Uh, sailing, sailing. Oh, excuse me. That's what we're making. Is that what we're making? Yeah, they called it sailing, sailing. Don't know where I've got baby's nautical from then. Oh, it's there, nautical baby. <laughs> Because I work here, I've got, oh, I like twirling flowers. Star Galaxy, this is fantastic. So you get all of this, you have to buy this separately. This all, for that, for that price, for everything, two terrific triangles. They're not triangles. Anyway, £47.95, you get this, you get this, you get this, you get this, and you get that. Right, it's time for my surprise. Right, are you ready? I could do with the drum roll, but we haven't got sound effects, have we? You, I hope you're not going to be di disappointed after all this. That's the quilt that we're making. Have you sw you've switched me off, you've switched me off, you've switched me off. Brand spanking new today. If you love storage, you're going to absolutely love it. This takes me back to my filming days, and I'll tell you why in a minute, but look, you ready? Da, 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 da. I love it. I love this. Now, now you might think we're all crazy, but we got so... Lucy was excited. Hannah was, like, almost passing out earlier when she saw this. It's a creative options, large grab-and-go rack system, plastic storage. 47... Well, the thing is, even if you don't use sewing, you're going to love this, right? So, first of all, it comes in this sturdy... Sturdy, it looks like a beehive, doesn't it, almost? Then, look, oh, you've got this. Isn't that fantastic? All that room in the top there. Now, you see, when, we used to, when I used to work on the film set, when you got people ready, you didn't have to go to the set to look after them. I had a fishing box that you could sit on, and everything was in it, but it was just all loose inside. This is brilliant because... Oh, hang on, let me get it open for you. I've got to... There we go, there we go, there we go. Right, so look, the front opens like that. Then look at the drawers in here. Look, you've got, you get dividers. Look, you get dividers that you can just make all your different shapes. I just think it's fantastic. All of that there. So that's only the top drawer. Then, look at this one, you see. Deeper, this is a deeper one with the compartments in here. This is really good. I don't know what, you, well, it's a plastic, I suppose, but it's a really, really good quality plastic storage there, isn't it? And then there's the one at the bottom there, which is just a big box, put your fat quarters in there. And it's, I just think it is brilliant for 47 pounds and 95 pence. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? 
I just think it's brilliant. Oh, hang on. Da, da, da. I just love the fact that it's got all the different sections in it. You've got a slightly narrower one there to put your threads and bobbins in and needles in. Then you've got just sections there that you can put in there, scissors, rulers. Oh, those rulers you've got fit nicely in there, wouldn't they? £47.95. I'm sorry if, if I've got a bit overexcited, but I just think it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Don't you? It's amazing. Give us a call, 0800 112 4433. Go on the web, sewing course. And I don't know how many of these I've got, actually. OK. They're going fast. They're going fast. I'll keep you updated. I'll keep you updated at £47.95. Should we get back to Lucy? If you want to. Or do you want to? No, 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 no. Not you get... don't have to if you don't want no, to. No, no, no. <laughs> People want to see the Hawaiian okay, thing I'm gonna again. Start, I'm going to start piecing these together. Yes, if you want to. have got quite mind. a bit to do. So oh, okay. that's it in the... So there's it. In all the rows. Yes. That's my sashing yeah. strip. So um, I just, I tend to piece this row and then keep adding... Column. Column, sorry. And then keep adding to make my rows. Okay, and then, then I put the rows together. So I'm going to chain piece okay. and just keep putting right. these ones together. So we just do right sides together. This is where you want to be careful that you're sewing it on the... Correct, correct size. size. But if you've got so it don't go based out of this next to your sewing machine, then you Re find It really it. helps, yeah. And you just want to um, keep, make sure you're keeping your quarter inch seam consistent. Yeah. Uh, across the bottom of your screen, you've got the uh, grab and go rack system. I didn't know it was called that. The pink storage you just saw. Uh, they are going fast at £47.95. Do you know what else? If you do a lot of beading, that top layer, you could make into lots of little sections and have all your different beads, all your different coloured beads and size beads. Go, nice. Just a thought, eh? There's so many things you could use it for. What would you put in yours? I'd, well, I'd, I would put my rulers and, and bits like that. Um, oh, we've like... got a friend. Uh, we've got a friend called Neil who likes oh, Lego. Lego, yeah. And you could put Lego in there. You could put you? Lego in there. He's a grown man. It'd be good for makeup as well. Not Neil that I've got that, not that, I've got that much. <laughs> Neil might not, but I do. <laughs> Apparently, I'll need two for my makeup. I only use three things, just lots of them. <laughs> my kids would love that as well. What, just for toys? For All their little toys? things, or, yeah. Oh, you know those... Um, we had Yesterday, remember, we had that photo in of the lady who said, I also work on my on my dining room table. And yes. all the little cars. Oh, the cars. Keep yeah. all your cut little cars in there as well. That it, was for so children's um, storage space. Sorry, getting carried so, away now. No, that's OK. So I've pieced all of those together and then I just add the next part oh, I to see. the so end. You, you so don't I don't do those two together and then put You the, can do that yeah, whichever you way. Go, you work but I do, way it is worth opening it out just to check before you keep adding so you've got less unpicking if something has gone of wrong. Of course, oh yes. So now I just take this over and keep going. I can't believe, you know what, I'm still in awe of this kit. It is fact for all those patterns that you're getting. Oh, so. okay. Apparently, uh, the, uh, there are a few issues with your order in the container. If you're having trouble putting in your basket, the pink container, just ring the call centre and they'll sort it out for you. 0800 112 4433. Give them a call. They're brilliant. They'll sort you. They'll sort you out. It's just not liking this. Today. Well, what's I'm the matter? Go from the other side. I don't know. It's not happening. You're bird nesting. It up. Yes, I am. I'll try again. Yes. Right. And there are so many people who've got this in your basket. If you want it, please check out. Remember, you only pay one, one PMP for the whole day. But check out. If you definitely want it, check out, because we can see disappointment looming. You we don't right? want that. We don't want disappointment. We don't want disappointment. Not when you've had a life like mine, full of it. <laughs> I, I, I thought you're that. doing so well being jolly today. Yes. Well, no, because <laughs> normally when Little Paul's somewhere. producing, see, he gets dibs on, I've had so much disappointment yes. in life, I have to let him have that one. Because yeah. he really has had disappointment in his life. <laughs> Little Paul. Little Paul. Yes. <laughs> he, he and Hannah have become best friends now. They live in the same village. 
That's and he never serious. ever used to go around talking. He goes around all the time now. And Aww. Hannah's like working the next morning, you know, like yeah. uh, next morning. And he's, she's like, Paul, I have to go to bed now. And he's like, chatter, chatter, chatter. <laughs> I'm like, your new friend, aren't I? And he sits, he's allowed on the sofa. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. But he also, he's also allowed to drink their cheap wine. <laughs> there was a special <laughs> offer in their supermarket in their village last week. And he was here. And he, and he rang Hannah and went, could you go to the supermarket and get me some of this wine? And she was like, no. <laughs> It's all sold out. And he was like fretting, going, should I just go and come back? Should I go and come back? Oh, Anyway, he went and it was all sold out. Oh, wow. It was what? Three pounds a bottle it was. It was like port, he said. He likes port. Oh. Sorry, I'm I don't, I don't port. drink, so I've no idea. Oh. Oh, OK, right, right. If you're buying the storage unit, the, the, the issues that are on the web, you know the lovely pink storage unit? Um, there's no picture. Is there a picture of anything? Was it just say... Right, it says, sorry, uh, image temporarily unavailable. It's this, it's this, right? It's, it's going across the bottom of your screen. It is available. It's just I haven't got the image on. The Bex is sorting out right now as we speak. That's Haley's fault, that. I thought Crystal had been fired. <laughs> OK. So this is my last one for this. For this the boat. columns. Oh, for the columns, yeah. Yeah. And then we can sew the bows. Got plenty of time, though. Yeah. The strawberries were nice gripping the break, weren't they? They were lovely. Really nice. You're, you were too busy doing something else because we had to wait for you. I know, a long one as well. There we we had to extend the break waiting for you. <laughs> Pardon. Hannah's, Hannah's, we're all, we've all got um, different moods going on today, haven't we? We're not in, all in sync today, are no, we? No, we're not. It's funny. There we go. So now we just need to press... <laughs> so now we just need to press um, the right, rows. Right, there we go. So I might do this one slightly differently because I've got those pieces there. That's why I've stepped back because I knew you wouldn't want yeah. to just done normally. So it's just something that you want to be aware of, that you want them going the opposite right. ways. We don't need to watch you ironing, so I'm going to talk about my... Um, is that all right? That's fine. Oh, hang on. Was there, did you say you were going to do something special with the ironing, though? No, I'm one? just pressing, you know, so I'm not... to avoid as much bulk as I yeah, can. Yeah, so, so where one's it, going one way, you want the other one yeah, that's going, going to join the, to the other, other way. way. Yeah. Well, look at it. We'll check it out when she's done it. Everything's gone a bit crazy this hour, hasn't it? I love this. Isn't it lovely? Very tropical. Hawaiian. It's all padded. So that alone, that alone for 29... It's called the Summer Bundle Tahitian Treat. Uh, you see, in my local haberdashery store, they have... Bo I don't know if they've got this one, but they have boxes like this. And, and they're more expensive than that. They're more expensive than that price you're seeing there. Anyway, so in this bundle, you get this fabulous uh, sewing box with the little pocket there, with the pin cushion there, with the tray in the top there, and all the space in there. Because you're going to need the space, because in the bundle, you get the thread pack. Yep, you've got pins. Oh, hang on, I'm going the wrong order, sorry. Pins. Then you've got berry head pins. Then you've got these needles, which I think are fantastic because they're in that little thing. It's called, it's called a compact. And you turn it and then just one needle will come out at a time. Uh, scissors. Uh, tape measure. And most importantly... They're not as hairy as De Derek, the, uh, Derek the upside down ears. There you go, look. This comes in it as well. Yeah, you know what, you see, what you could do is what I'd do is I'd buy all this as a kit and then I'd put all this in it inside. No, they're not getting the pincushion. You go, here you go, Hannah, happy birthday. Oh, that, oh, it's just a pincushion. I've had this for years, you know. No, it doesn't go with the kit, no, it doesn't go, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't match at all, does it? No, nice. you get all of that, all of that for £29.95. Why have you stopped ironing? Because I've finished. Okay, I'll move then. <laughs> Thanks. Right, you go here then. Okay. 
If you've got this kit, if you've got this kit in your bun uh, bundle in your, in your basket, please start checking out because people are going to miss out. Right, you carry on talking. So all I've done is, as I'm pressing my rows, it's just to make sure that they're going in the opposite directions. So there's a couple of places where I've got a little bit of fault, but for the most part, I'm um, avoiding it. And you can do that or you can press open. It's just personal preference. It doesn't, I find it easier because then I can butt the seams up against each other yeah. so I get nice points, but it's really up to you. Just so you know, you won't be seeing an image of the storage unit anytime soon. The pink storage unit over there, not this, this um, uh, sewing box. Uh, because there's issues with it, it just won't accept the picture for some reason. And I'm going to pin now, and you've put the pin cushion away. You've what, what? You're going to pin, and I'm going to pin, and you've put the pin cushion away. Oh. So I'll have to use that one. You can do it if you please. <laughs> oh, you're putting them in? They're not taking them out yet, then? Well, we'll have to put some in. We'd have to put some in Yeah, there, you can put them we? in when you finish. You take them out. Oh, OK, yeah, we'll do that then. So what are you, pin are you pinning now uh, across the so way? So I'm pinning now? across the way. So as I'm doing it, I just want to try and check that the points are going, you know, are going to meet. Yeah. But so long as you've done your quarter inch seam, you shouldn't need to worry about it too much. And because we've given everything a press, it will go together nicely. Yeah. But it is important that you pin um, all of your uh, seams there. And I like to put one at the end as well, because that's the one that can tend to move around the most. The graphics so at the bottom are for the sewing box, because it doesn't say sewing box anyway, it's just the Tahitian treat here, 29.95. Yes. I wonder what a Tahitian treat would be. It's that. No, if, if it wasn't a sewing box. <laughs> I don't know. I'm waiting for pins. Oh. Oh. That's no, fine. I like to lift it up to check that I'm not catching. Oh. <laughs> Don't you make me nervous. <laughs> not catching anything underneath. I need my hair cut, don't I? I need mine done. Yeah, so. you do. Thanks very much, John. Notice I didn't say that to you. <laughs> I can see it. I can see it in your face. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. So they're the sails. There we go. So those are the sails. Yeah. Nice pointy sails. Yeah. And then we can attach the boat. And it's just the same thing. <laughs> just butting up the corners. This is this works very well. Doesn't it? Keeps yeah. me quiet and concentrating as well. It's nice. Very handy. Probably be easier if it was on my wrist, but Why? To mine. No, well no, it's right there. You'd, well, I'd, have to, like this, I'd have to hire a minion, wouldn't I? Yes, that's what your husband's there with for. with the big cushion. No, from she means when she's not here. There we go. Ah, yes, I mean when I'm not here. Yes. I'm from up north. I could, you know, move back up with there you. There we go, yes. With me. Pardon? <laughs> no, I'll move in the same road. Is there a house oh. for sale in the road? Um, the, possibly. <sighs> I'm not sure there is at the moment. Look, you've... Mess me up now. Oh, sorry. I was, uh, I was ready to go like that. Are you Marianne? Love watching the demos. Demos. Marianne, thank you. I do a lot of sewing, but never quilting. Now I'm going to give it a go. Thank you. That's fantastic. Brilliant. Marianne, what about this one? It's a good one to start with, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because maybe that, that paper piecing one we did, no, the foundation piecing one we did earlier, uh, that might not be very good as a beginner's the first time. I think once it? you've... With the curves, that was a bit yeah. tricky. The block that we picked out, but there are blocks in that one that would. But that would if be she does lots fine. of sewing, dressmaking, you get lot. You have loads of curves in dressmaking. Well, there, so that's she true. Might, she might be better yeah. than you. But, <laughs> there um, you go. Yeah. Marianne. She might well be. Remember, I know. I cannot. I still cannot believe this. This bundle. I need uh, Munch to tidy up the desk. Uh, this bundle, right? You're getting uh, thread. Got the. Got the. Um, uh, we get everything in this that you need, right? So when it arrives, you get the book. Oh, we'll go through the book in a minute again. Uh, we get the book, you get the wadding, you get the thread, and then you get three and a half metres of fabric, enough to make it, bind it, back it, everything, sash it, everything at £47.95. 
Just give us a call, 0800-112-4433. Same course, Jack Comfort, put it in your basket, but there's lots and lots and lots of you with it in your basket, and you really need to be careful because disappointment is looming for some. That's all I'm saying. What it is, is just put it in your basket, doesn't guarantee that you've got it. It's only once you've checked it out that you've definitely got it. And then what, that's why we introduced the £2.95 prospecting, no matter how many times you check out during the day. Because we don't want you to think, oh, well, I'll wait till midnight and I'll make sure everything's in my basket. Because if we have 100 of them, say, and 105 of you put it in your basket, the first 100 to check out, they'll be fine. But then the five people who come to check out afterwards, once the 100 have gone, that'll be it. They'll be like, no, sorry, out of stock. So yeah, just putting it in your basket doesn't guarantee it. I just want to um, give a little tip. Okay. So when you've got something that has um, the diagonal, so like a half square triangle where you've got a point meeting, it's nice to have that facing upwards because you can see where the lines intersect. Yes. So you can sew through the point at which the lines intersect. So I've got a line going across there and the diagonal's coming out. And as I'm sewing down here, I can see the point where the two are meeting to be sure that I'm not going to lose that point yes. once, once it opens out. The summer bundle that's just appeared on the bottom of your screen, that's the... Um, Sewing box and all the goodies in it there for twenty nine ninety five. This quilt here, forty seven ninety five, and that fantastic, fantastic storage, which I'll show you again before I go. I will go when I go over at the end too. Now, um, when we gave you this kit, you went, "Oh, is it warm white? I love warm yes, white. I love warm and What's white. What's so special yeah. about this then? Um, well, I like the the warm company as a brand. It's fantastic, and all of the uh, waddings that they produce are really high quality. Oh, that's the company. That's not the colour of it then. No, the, the warm company is who produces right. so you can get uh, like warm and natural warm and possibly other things all those on sure. our website yeah. um and the warm and natural is sort of the standard but the white is great for when you're using something that has white in it or very pale oh, colors yes. um because they stay true so if you use a natural color they, the the colors sort of fade a little bit so what's nice is because obviously we've got all the white here yes. and, the, and this pale blue. So it just keeps those um, colours vibrant yes. and You don't have to worry fresh. about it. It comes, it comes in, the, in the bundle. So you don't have to worry about ordering that separately. It comes in the bundle. And that's a cotton wadding. So it's 100% cotton and it's um, needle punched. So you don't get lots of uh, fluffing or, oh, or bearding on it. So good. it's a really nice one. That, this is the one you get in your bundle. This is the one you get in your bundle. Right, Rosalie's just messaged in from Lincoln saying, I've lost you on my screen, but thanks for... Thanks, ordered the storage box, Rosalie. What do you mean you've lost us on your screen? We're still here. Oh, dear. But you're long your storage box. That's the main thing. Yeah. Right. So I'm, I'm going to press these seams. I'm going to press them all open. OK. Then. Because we, I've got, you know, Go bits on, on different sides. I'll just take you through the book, shall I, again? But you get, you get this with the bundle for £47.95. Uh, it's lovely, isn't it? Look, the beginner friendly, they're all called baby quilts in here, you see. But basically, I think that's because the size. They're not necessarily baby patterns, are they? Not all of them. Um, they could be. Look, there they all are. There they all are. Tumbling flowers. Hugs and kisses. Oh, that's nice. Whirling pinwheels. There's nice floating hearts. That's lovely, isn't it? Uh, baby, oh, baby log cabin. Baby log cabin. Oh. Yeah. Baby's pal. Sailing, sailing. That's what we're doing, obviously. Find the pinwheels. Twirly, I like that one. Twirling flowers. Yeah. Nice, isn't it? At Star Galaxy. Something for everybody in here, isn't it? Blocks all stacked up. That's a nice thing, isn't it? Blocks all stacked up. Oh, hang on, missed one out. Oh, got to get a move on. Starry, starry stars. Starry, starry nights. Purple chain. Baskets of love. You see, I don't know why that's called two terrific triangles. There's no triangles there, are there? Anyway, moving on. Pretty in pink. Beverly is sat chain piecing while she watches. Oh, lovely. Well done. But Get it done nice I'll and quickly, Jim. I'll finish with the iron. Yeah, yeah. don't mind that's done. Well, just. Uh, uh, please be on. careful. Please be careful if you've got the bundle because uh, numbers are dwindling very fast. Lots and lots and lots of you got it in your baskets. Right. Okay. So that's the basic block. So that's the it? basic block. So you've got your sailboat there, and then you want to add 
um, sashing. Yes. So you do that in rows. So you add a sashing strip either, either side. side, then your next block, and then a sashing strip. Right. So you're making this part just okay. this centre section. So you add a strip so this side. So you add side, this, this, and this, and but so the red ones. So that's a row. Yeah. Then square. Do you make this strip. into one long that's sash? That's one long row. And then, and and then, then that's a row and so on. That's a row. Your blocks are a row and the squares and the, and the rectangles. are Brilliant. And then what row. about this and this then? And then you do your borders. So it's got all the measurements for your borders in the, in, in the pattern. Um, and you do this ones at the side first and then the tops and then you repeat that with the outer borders as well. And then um, for the quilting, I use this scallop sort of wave. wave isn't it? and so I used um, white in the section that wasn't water and then I used the blue thread. Oh you've changed colour? Yeah I changed colour and I've used the blue thread that comes in the kit for um, oh, the wave nice, and so I kept yes. the white one at the top so it's yes. more like sky and then right down to the bottom that's all the blue the blue thread and making the waves there, there. As well in and the I've done blue there. there yeah and I just adjusted the width of the wave slightly so it would just give it more of a Sailing, choppy. sailing, choppy feel. Oh, yeah. So Get that. You. Um, uh, I was going to say. Oh, Beverly, yeah. you started me on the quilting, and now I'm addicted. That must be for you. Oh, fantastic! She's on his chain piecing right now. That's what I like. Watching. I like to encourage people to get addicted to quilting. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good. Um, right. What time is it? Oh. Uh, so just show you which stitch it is. Yeah, because I've got three um, and a half minutes still. Because it's mode on this one. It's mode um, two, number nineteen. So it, it just looks like a curve on the machine. So it just looks like that. Oh, you wouldn't know that. So one, you wouldn't I'd know necessarily. It just, it's just a curved line. Yeah. But obviously then as it comes out, it creates a point. Okay, so it's 20 then, a smaller, if you wanted little waves. Little ones you could do, yeah, but they're closer together. So it doesn't look quite the same because you've got that gentle slope. It right. creates more okay. of the wave. But you can adjust the, the width of it so some of them don't, the waves don't come as high. Right. And then if you've got the longer width, they come up higher. Ha Hannah's machine does not have decorative stitches. Right. How would she yeah. do it? Um, so you could, well, you could free motion. So you could free motion waves if that was something that okay. you wanted to do. Um, no, let's not put it, that's not free motion system, quilting freaks you out, you could do just straight, you could just do straight lines, straight lines could in the you, border. Could and, you use a, like one of our pencils, white pencils and draw in your curves or your scallops and then follow it slowly on your machine if you wanted you to? You could, but if you were doing it, if you were doing that with a walking foot, um, you, you'd need to do you'd want to do larger ones because it's hard to get. You'd be oh, stopping and starting course, ever course, such a yes, lot. Yeah. Um, with that, the other thing is you can just do it wavy without yes. the points. Yes. Or, and then or you, or can like just, you, you can just you can just jiggle it. Straight yeah. lines or follow these yeah. lines here and highlight the the sails or the boat and yeah. things like or that. Yeah. Or even like a cross hatch would work yeah. really nicely or a yeah. grid. Uh, because the back you've got fabric. So there's the backing there. There's fabric to the backing, and then there's enough red here to make your binding. That's a straight binding, isn't it? It goes around the outside. Machine, yes. did you hand stitch? Oh, no, I mean, machine, and then machined in the ditch. Yes. Stitched in the ditch. And you can, um, there, you will actually have some fabric left over. It's, oh. Yeah, you'll have bits left over, um, even from that. So, yeah. Great value for money. Uh, great value for money. Right, before we go and do the bundle, let me just show you this for the last time this hour. This Because it's very, very, very popular. $29.95, you not only get the sewing box, but you get all of the goodies in it, which is scissors, pin, two lots of pins, uh, thread, needles, a pin cushion, a tape measure, and scissors. $29, now that's in called Tropical. Uh, no, not called Tropical, that's what we gave it. It was called Summer Bundle Tahitian Treat for $29. Oh, there it is, all laid out. That's everything you get there for the $29.95. Uh, I'll take you through the bundle of... Um, fabric now that you get for the uh, and well the whole bundle for the for the quilt that we've shown you so remember if you order this quilt now there's loads and loads and loads of you in your basket i'm on, i'm only saying it for your own good i'm not trying to be bullying or anything like that but i don't want you to miss out I, if you want it right i don't want you to miss out so you can make this quilt right you can make that whole of that quilt you get everything the thread the batting the backing the fabric and a book to make that, right? So here's, here's the kit, here's the kit, right? 
There's the batting, and it's the warm, warm white batting there. Uh, you get, oh, sorry, do you want to see that? Then you get the thread, which I'll put in front of it there. Then you get all this fabric, right? So you get um, half a metre of the red spot. You get um, a metre of... Uh, sorry? Yeah, yeah, a metre of the blue spot. Then you get a metre of the cornflower. You get half a metre of the baby blue and half a metre of the antique white. But also, in your £47.95 pants, pants, you get this as well. You get that as well. Oh, I've got ages. Um, I was genuine. I wasn't doing any acting because the people always go, oh, that bit of acting was good, John, because... I'm going to... No, I heard you the first time. She said... Hannah said, we know you're acting because it's always bad, right? So I didn't say anything. I'm reacting like this. She went, John, what I said was, we know when you're acting. So she had to repeat it. Right, this is my joy of the day. This is fantastic. I love, love, love this. Um, now, if you're buying on the web, there's no picture. There's no picture. A third of the stock of these have gone already. A third of the stock have gone of these already. I only showed you that once very quickly, didn't I? Forty-seven pounds and ninety-five pence. It's just brilliant because you've got the top there with all that storage going on in there, um, and then you've got the front bit that opens out like that, so the drawers aren't going to fall out. Three drawers, right? Three drawers. That's the narrow one, which you can turn into lots of little sections there. So if you've got beads or threads or anything like that, 47 pounds. The thing is, we're talking about sewing. It could be for anything. Then there's that one there, which is in three sections, right? And then the bottom one, which is deeper, uh, but it's... Oh, come on, John, what a job. Um, look, put your fat quarters in there. You put anything in there you like, can you? Uh, design rolls. Whatever. Would you fit a design roll in there? Just, yeah, yeah just. Oh, when it's open. You definitely would when it's open. I was thinking when it was shut. Um, I love it. Make sure you get that. £47.95. Right, Joe Carter. Today seems to be going on forever, doesn't it? Joe Carter's up next. In a good way, of course. In a good way. Um, what are we making? Oh, I know. Railroad crossing. Like flying geese. We will see you in three minutes from now. Don't go anywhere. Whew. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. There are many different ways you can buy from us here at The Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products, excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing, work, we create and love. The circus is rolling into town this weekend as two viewer favourites make a welcome return to our screens. Tune in on Saturday the 24th of June when Joe Carter will demonstrate how to make two magical soft toys in the form of a circus elephant and its mischievous monkey friend. With Joe's expert guidance and these handy kits from much-loved craft brand Tilda, it's easy to make your own. So join us for some monkey business and see Joe bring these quirky characters to life in front of your very eyes on Saturday the 24th of June at 9am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. 
You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple programme guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. Now, I always thought these were flying geese. Cute, aren't they? Uh, apparently, this is a railroad crossing. Railroad crossing of flying geese. I think it's cute. Uh, Joe's head shows how you can make a little block like this and then join them together and join them together to make a bigger, bigger, bigger quilt. But I, as always, I've got gorgeous bundles to show you first. Shall we have a look at the bundles? I'll just put that one down there for Joe. Right. Uh, starting off with the natural. Uh, these colours are lovely. I'd have called these uh, coffee shop, wouldn't you? Three half metres of fabric. So you get like the sand spot on, the mocha and the chocolate. You get half a metre of each of those for £11.45. I'll go through these more uh, thoroughly with you afterwards. Um, because you're getting me tough, but I'll go through them thoroughly with you afterwards, but um, I just wanted to show you them quickly. Is this one called Raspberry Ripple? Who? Oh. Blossom. Very bright blossom. It's like cherry blossom, isn't it? So you get the, the candy, that's like a candy, pale, oh, no, that's raspberry, I'd say. Raspberry spot on. Lovely pale pink. And then that lovely, that's claret, isn't it? Clarinet, as Hannah likes to call it. That's, they're both beautiful, but those two together look gorgeous. I'll do that afterwards. I'll do that afterwards, right? I oh, know. I'll just put this on the floor. Then my other two bundles. Blue. This is nice. I don't think I've seen this fabric before. Is it like a clover print, this one? I don't think I've seen that one before. It's lovely, it's got little spots, isn't it? It's called Ocean, this one. Uh, the bundle is, the bundle's called Ocean. You've got the little, the pale blue, the pale cornflower blue, and then, I love this. This is obviously seaweed leaves, if it's ocean. Uh, that's lovely, 13.45 from each and a half the fabric. And then this one's really, in fact, this one Joe's used, isn't it, this one here? Um, it's got the, I don't know, let's see what they called it. I, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to guess at green. Fresh. Fresh. We have a whole department, you know, Joe, that just picked these names. Uh, now, I have seen this fabric before. I like this fabric. Fresh. So you've got that pattern green there, which is like a jade. You've got that pattern there, which is like a pale pistachio, and that colour, which is like a, a jade colour. Half a metre of each. £13.45. I've also got this gorgeous book, which Jo has taken her pattern from. Now, this always flies out the door, this one. It's called 1,000 Any Size Quilt Blocks. Yes, you heard me right. 1,000. Right? And if you just flick it open, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, right? Well, here are all the blocks. All in different... Oh, there, there's the, the... That's the churn, isn't it? There's the bear paw. Is that the bear paw? No, that's not the bear paw, is it? No, that's cake stand, that one's called. Right? Twenty one ninety five. But what you get with this... Now, I'm not, I'm not particularly bright on things like that. I said, why is there a DVD in there? It's a CD-ROM. It's a CD-ROM that you can put into your computer... And it tells you all, everything to do. Everything you need to do to do all these blocks. Look, they're brilliant, aren't they? Absolutely brilliant. All of them. I love all of them. Um, there's a thousand. A thousand any size blocks. Last time this was on, completely sold out. Completely and utterly sold out. Uh, oh, it does. It just does say CD. It doesn't say CD-ROM on the front here. It includes a CD. Is it the same thing? Can you watch it then or do you just listen to it? 
Put it in your computer. And are there pictures? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, and then you can print it to the size that you want. Oh, that's clever. Isn't that clever? So you put this in technology these days, and I think this is, you know what I mean? So say you want to do the Christmas tree, right? And you want it in a certain size, put the CD-ROM in, it'll print it to the size that you need. That's fantastic, I love that. Sold out last time we showed it, £21.95. Oof, right, let's go and see Joe. Did I give you it back? Oh, yeah. Go and see Joe. I'll come back and go through all of this in a minute. Have I got a copy of the book over there? I'll take this one with me. Oh, I've got this one. There you go. Right, what did you manage to get done in the break, then? I made another one of those. Oh, fantastic. Fair so, fun. what do we actually create? Oh, no, do I need the iron? I will do in a minute, okay? We will, we will. Right, what are we creating? I've chosen to do, because I made quite a big thing before, so I've gone for little blocks this yes, time. Yes, yeah. But with the book, with the CD you get in it, you can print it out at whichever size you want. I selected the six inch block, so this is six and a half, it'll be oh, six so inch. Oh, so you could have finished. that as a nine inch block, you could you have could. it as a 12 inch block, that's what the CD does? Yes. Perfect. And it is quite fiddly on this size. Yes. But um, I quite like making, I make toys, so yes, I used to exactly. small bits and bobs. But yes. So I'm going to show how to make this block. Now, in the book, I printed it out. If I was slightly better with my new printer, I would have had that centred on the page. And oh, OK. Oh, no, you're like me, yes. <laughs> and it's got writing on it, but I'll just this is the <laughs> printout here. I'll just cover up your writing there. You can have it in black and white, can't you, if you've got you colour, yeah? And also, you can put it centre on your page instead of just the top right-hand corner. But that's the... Oh, is that the whole block? Yeah, that's the whole block, isn't it? Is it? Yes. Is that a bit missing there? Well, apart from the bits that I've managed to crop off with my yeah. inadequate printing. <laughs> 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 OK, then. So that's what you get. When you put your CD ROM in, that's what you can print out. Now, yes, and it'll give you the scale. You had to increase it by 150%, I think it was, to get the six-inch block. So that's what I did. I printed that out. And in the book, it tells you to use these as templates. So cut these out as templates, put them onto cards to make them sturdier, and add your seam allowance, quarter of an inch is the standard seam yes. allowance and trace them out and cut them out like that. But, but OK, so we're going to do one other of those shows. So on the CD, it gives you templates cut out, like it did with one, Lucy's one earlier. But instead of cutting templates, we've got a Joe version. You can absolutely do it that way yeah, yeah. if you prefer. But I find it quicker and easier to um, cut squares out and cut them in half for half square triangles and quarters okay. for the quarter square triangles. So for the... That selects a flying, a flying goose, just yes. the one. Well, yes, yeah, funny when they just make one. They go, I'm making a flying geese. You go, no, you're making a <laughs> goose. That's it's only one. It's a goose. This central part, what I think of as the goose. Yes. Um, yeah. If that was a square, it would be a one and a half inch square finished. Right. Now, if I wanted to cut those squares and then subcut them in half, you need to add seven eighths of an inch and cut squares, so I want a one and a half inch square. So if I add seven eighths of an inch onto it, that gives me two and three, three eighths. eighths yeah. So I want to cut squares out that are two and three eighths. Um, that's, that's two and three eighths squares? Yes. Inch squares. So here we go. So I've cut this strip down. This one should be, oh no, this is my quarter square triangle. So I'll start with the, the correct fabric. There okay. we go. Remember, that's, this one's from the Ocean Bundle. This Is it Ocean? No, it isn't. No, it's fresh. I was going to say Ocean's the blue one, yeah. Do you want me to press that? You're all right. It's OK. I straightened up the edge before. Oh, oh, oh you're fine. So I want a two and three-eighths strip. So you've, uh, this is to make a one and a half inch finished square. You add the seven eighths of an inch, so you're now making two and three eighths. Three eighths. But if you had the ruler from before, oh yes, you can cut your. Oh yeah, just straight um, out. You can with this one. So we want one and a half. So you'd use the markings because these markings on this ruler 
Oh, for the finished square. Yes. So if you want a finished square here of one and a half inches, you'd then follow that one and a half inch line there. Um, and why aren't you using this ruler then? I just thought I'd, you know, oh, change it. That is my favourite ruler. That's a creative grids ruler. Oh, very, very limited. It always, it always flies out when, um, when Joe has this on. Jenny had it on for the sun this week. I didn't have very many today, but anyway. Okay, so now you're putting the strip that is two and three eighths and you're cutting squares that are two and three eighths using the rotary cutter and the rotating cutting mat. I am. There we go. And then if I twist this round. So to cut this then in half, this would give me the half square triangle sizes yeah. I need. There we go. They are small, aren't they? This, this. They are. It's a bit of a stack of these. Yeah, if you're, if you're not into doing fiddly things, like Joe said, you can uh, multiply it by more times. When you, when you put the CD ROM, CD in, you can multiply it by more times and make much, much bigger sizes. Can you boost it up? I mean, this, this is a particularly small. Yes, block. but in, it's worth it in the end because it looks really cute, doesn't it? And then it when does. you put them all together. Hopefully I'll get another one finished and I'll yeah, be able could. to lay them out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how many have you got already made in your trolley down there? Three. I have an, another two here. So I've got three, so we're going to make put four together. Yes. It's a bit fluffy. For the, the quarter square triangles, again, you could use this ruler because it does, it cuts quarter square triangles as well. Yeah. Or Remembering the size on that ruler is the finished, the finished size of the square. Of the square, yeah. yes. Again, it's a, I want quarter square triangles that make up a one and a half inch finished square. Right. Because this is half of that, if you see what I mean. Yes. So this time, because I'm quartering the squares, I add an inch and a quarter on to the finished size. So one and a half inch finished square, add an inch and a quarter, two and three, two and three quarters. quarters. Why is it different? Why are you adding a different amount of why do you only add seven, eight, seven, eight? Oh, because there's it's one the, less seam. It's the seam allowance, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not quite sure why those numbers work, but they do. I've never questioned it. It's seven eighths for half square triangles or one and a quarter. Always. I think so. For, that's the, if you're using a quarter inch seam allowance. Yeah. So I'll move it out of the way. Give that a spin. And then just going corner to corner. And this is where a rotating mat's really handy because you don't want to move, disturb those. Yes, the quarters this time. Okay, I'll do another one just, just to make sure I've definitely got enough. I said two and three quarters, didn't I? I couldn't hear you, Hannah, at all. Hannah's... Hannah's Anna's hay fever is so bad that she can't oh. breathe upstairs. She said, sorry if I'm breathing really heavily. I couldn't even hear her breathing. I thought she'd gone. <laughs> oh dear, it worries me now. She's getting uh, Timothy to push her on her pressure points upstairs. <laughs> Timothy's a first aid. So okay. th those are the triangles for the for the geese, for the yes. flying geese. And this this triangle here, the yellow one, it measures across the bottom. It's three inches, but that right. would form that would is a quarter of a three inch square. So again, cut out a square, three inches plus the one and a quarter, so four and a quarter, and then and do just quarter cut one of those done. one of those out, quarter it, and you've got then. The ones for there. So it's the same. Sometimes a bit principle. mathematical, or it's this, really this. mathematical at times, cool thing. Or you could just use these templates, and then you don't have to. All you have to add on is your quarter inch seam allowance, and that's all the maths involved if you use those templates. Okay. Okay. Before you start saying, Hannah wants to have a look at the book. She is very needy today. One thousand any size quilt box, any size because there's a CD that you can put into your computer for the patterns. <clears throat> and it can tell you whatever size. So if you wanted a six inch finished block, a seven, nine, no, it'd be six, nine. Which, that one? 
There you go. 1,000 any size quilt blocks. Now I'm going to put it down because I need to because it won't bend properly it's with the CD in the back. So instructions. Then these are four patch blocks. They're four patch blocks. And let me if I have to put it on a little tilt so it doesn't. There you go. It doesn't flare quite so much. Four patch blocks. Pages of those. Then we move on to. See, these are all four patch blocks, apparently. Are they all four? Iris! Which one? That one. The Kansas turntable. I can't... No, Kansas... Honestly. This is Hannah picking out her favourites. That's the only reason she wants me to show you the books, you see. So then we carry on into five patch blocks so you've got all that it's all done in sections for you so now is a four patch easier than a five patch or is it just the way it's set out it's just the way it's set, just out. The way it's set out so there's more five patch blocks there so it's all in different sections you, this is the kind of book you need, you're going to need to sit down and just peruse at your pleasure star blocks with four patch you see and so on look at them there's a thousand different blocks in here and they're all on the cd rom Nine patch. So, oh, we've got that one next door, haven't we? Just incredible, isn't it? I mean, I can sit here and go on for hours and hours and hours with all the differences. You're never, ever going to run out of ideas, are you, really? If you look at that, all of those together. Oh, what's that one? Curved. Oh, now the Drunkard's Pathway will be in here somewhere, won't it? That's curved. They're all going to look so completely different with different fabrics, aren't they, as well? You've got a favourite block. See, these all got curves in them. Now, foundation blocks. That's what we learned about earlier, wasn't it? See, um, Hannah's into birds. I like this one. I like the angel. Now, Shemoy Mary, maybe you should get this one. Shemoy Mary loves angels. Oh, and there's another angel there, look. And another angel there. Uh, which one did you like? The aeroplane? Where's the aeroplane? Oh, there. Timothy likes the aeroplane and Hannah likes the birds. I could do that one to go with my butterfly shirt. Oh, there's more. Fire. Another angel. Uh, there's so much. There's so much. Oh, sorry. It's because there we go. <laughs> Hannah's hungry. She's just seen pineapple. Uh, yes, there's lots of those in your supermarket, aren't there, at the moment? Oh! Christmas, look, turkey, snowman. Uh, no, it's not Santa's hat, it's a witch's hat there. Oh, Santa there, Christmas tree. Look, and then the letters, foundation block letters, numbers. It's got everything, really, hasn't it? Uh, patchwork foundation. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. A thousand any size blocks. Fantastic, isn't it? Right, we'll carry on with Joe now. Sorry about that. It's twenty one ninety five. So that last time it was on, it completely sold out. So Joe. Okay. Now with these blocks, because they're small, but I when I make flying geese, I like to press the seams one way. But actually, there's some really chunky bits in the seams if right. you do that. So actually, I'm going to press the seams open on these. Right. I'll get ready then. Now I need, I think, 10 for a block, and I chain piece them together. Okay. So, so which bit are you doing first then? I'm going to s each of the flying geese sections are made oh, yes, like okay. that to okay. make it into a rectangle. Yes. So I'm going to sew the sides on to 10 of them, all one side on, press them, and then I'll sew. Is that there for a reason? Have you starched these before you went? You I've went? not starched them, but starching would be helpful because as well. Because you see, you've got a lot of bias There's a lot seams of there, aren't there? Bias edges, edges yeah. yes. We mentioned the starch earlier. It's lavender flavour. That's all we've got at the moment. We love it. It's there. It does make life a lot easier, having starched the pieces. There we go. Going across the bottom. Oh, there you go. 
And it's not got any um, CFCs, whatever they're called. CFCs. What's they called? They have in aerosols that aren't very good. Just CFC. 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 Oh, is it CFC? CFC. Okay. Is it? Oh, well, no, I don't know. You come in here full of confidence and you leave. I'm shattered. With me. <laughs> oh. Now, is that rose poudre you've got on again today on your nails? It's not rose poudre I don't today. I think it was. I've not checked what colour it is. No, no, uh, somebody emailed in the other day saying, oh, what colour has Joe got on? So I had to chase after to find out. Right, I'll just do four. So it's the long edge of the smaller triangles against one of the shorter edges of the bigger triangles. Stop there. So you could just carry on and chain piece. Several of these. And then press them. Often I would press that way. Right. It seems to one side, but like, I am going to press them open. You don't need to press those open Ooh. while you carry on sewing. Would you mind while I do a bit of Not it? at all. Thank you. Now, you see, I hope we're going to get that lovely... We had a lovely it's not the mini iron, the adapter. We had a little iron in the other day <gasps> and flew out, sold out, sold out, sold out. And we'll, it's only the first time we've shown it. We will be getting it back in as soon as we do. One well, that looks like what, a panda. Oh, a sander, yes, it does. Oh, oh no, I've just, oh no, I've done that one right. Open, you said, didn't you? Please. <gasps> they put me off upstairs. I've only done one, I've forgotten what I'm supposed to be doing. Now, be careful when you do these with your iron. This is the uh, fresh bundle that we're working on here, the green bundle. I will go through the bundles again with you in a minute when I finish my job of ironing. Oh, yeah, somebody wants to see the grab and go. I'll do that in a second. Have you seen that storage box, Joe? No, I've not had a look at that. Oh, it's brilliant. Half the stock's gone already. I could do with one of those when I come here. And I've also got this lovely... Have you seen this um, lovely sewing box I've got with all the accessories you get in there as well? Oh, no. Right, OK. One... Three. This waiting is for you. Sorry, I know. Shall I go and do the grab and go while we're doing the chain piece? You're not going to do anything else, are I'm you? not. Uh, this is it for now. Okay. I'm not going anywhere then. Oh no, all of those. You can do all of those. No, I'm not. I'm going to make sure I've got. You've got three here. It's four there. I need to do three more. No, and three then... here. And four here, okay. so that's seven. I think I need ten in okay. all. Okay, I'm going to go and show you grab and go while she does it. Don't do anything else. Don't do anything else. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, grab and go, grab and go. We love this. They're my fabric bundles for this hour, which I just adore. But half the stock of this has gone already. Half the stock of this has gone already. It's fantastic. If you go onto the web, oh, it's there now. Well done, Bex. If you go to the web, there wasn't an image of it on, earlier on the web, but there is now. It's fantastic for £47.95. Creative Options, large grab-and-go rack system, plastic storage, £47.95. Lots of people multi-buying on this. Lots of people multi-buying. <coughs> because, well, I'm, I don't suppose you should use it as a stool, but you could sit on that if you had to. Right, top section. Ta -da! Nice, big, deep. Now, uh, Hannah's saying, uh, well, like... Um, because we were saying about a sewing box, but we also said about a toy box, making it into a toy box, or uh, make it into all crafts. If you do beading and things like that, would be fantastic. Hannah does painting, right? Not paint, you know, not paint and decorator painting, but painting like that. She's got a degree in it. Um, and so you've got that nice big section at the top there, right? And then you've also got... The protective cover on the front, so your drawers aren't going to fall out in transit. Then you've got three drawers here, right? Look, see, so you've got this one. And you can make, you see this, I'm not going to snap it off. You can snap these off, right, and make sections. So if you've got beads, right, I, I won't snap it off now, but if you've got beads, you see, or buttons, or your buttons, so if you snap one of those off, you can put it in there to create lots and lots of little sections. Uh, or... That one there, you can make bigger sections there. So if you've got toy eyes that Jo has a lot for her toys, 
has stuffed toys and you keep your embroidery thread and your needles and everything like that in there. There'd have to be a place for a, a water raisable pen as well because you never get anywhere without one of those. Right, then this one for your scissors or for anything that's slightly longer, three sections there. But look, they're very deep, look. I love the pink as well, the lovely colour, isn't it? And then, last but not least, we've got the bottom one, which is just put your sandwiches in this one. At £47.95. Right, more than, more than half the stock of those have gone. Premiered about an hour ago. That was it. And more than half the stock's gone already. Fantastic, aren't they? £47.95. While I'm over here, shall I do the bundles again? I'll just do bundles. Right, this one. It's called Fresh. This is the one that Joe's using over there. And it's the most popular so far. So you get uh, three half meter pieces, right? Uh, like a peppermint color, jade, and then this lovely leafy one. Oh, I'll hold that up for you. There you go. 13 pounds and 45 pence. Three half meter pieces, half meter of each of those. All 100% cotton, all machine washable at 30 degrees. Well, they say the manufacturer says 30 degrees. I always do cotton at 40 degrees, but that's, don't you, Joe? Cotton at 40 degrees, yeah. Right, this is lovely. I've not seen this fabric before. Uh, now, for some reason, they've called it ocean with leaves. Uh, but you get that gorgeous. I love that fabric. Half meter of that, half meter of the pale blue, half meter of the pale cornflower blue. 13 pounds and 45 pence for one and a half meters of fabric. Nice. Then this is gorgeous. They called this berry, I think, didn't they? I'd have called it raspberry. Did they call it berry? No. Blossom. Well, no, no, berry is after the blossom's been, isn't it? Oh, hang on. So, you've got the raspberry spot. You've got that lovely candy pink. And then the claret at the bottom there. Half a metre of each, £11.45. And, and last but not least, we've got natural, au naturel, which I would have called coffee shop. You've got the sand spot on. You've got the uh, mocha. And you've got the chocolate. 11 pounds and 45 pence for one and a half meters of fabric. Lovely, isn't it? Really, really gorgeous colors there. You see now, you see, I'd be tempted to mix and, you know, that's my own, that's me, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going. Remember, if you've got any questions for Joe, get them in, because we're only here for another half an hour. <laughs> so what are you doing now then? I've spun on a little bit. I've pressed all these seams open, so I've done one side. Right. And now it's the same again, but this time adding the other side. To the ones we've already stitched. You're adding the other triangle to the ones we've already stitched. Yes, so that we end up with that sort of okay. rectangle shape. You got that, yeah. Um, and how would you press that? I'd press that one open as well. So both of those need to be pressed open. And yeah. what happens at the corner there then? It just sort of... I'll do it and I'll show but, you. Yeah. You carry on stitching. That'll be the, the film, wouldn't it, made about so called to carry on stitching. <laughs> You said to me, Hannah. Oh, he, she likes to carry on quilting better. No, it's not funny, is it? Carry on up the Elna. That'd be a good one, wouldn't it? <laughs> I can't get this corner to go properly. Oh, it's because I caught it. Yeah. Sorry, John. That's all right. No, don't apologise to that, me. That was my fault. I'll try with that one instead. Um, uh, somebody just asked for the code for the grab -a go box. There it is. Oh, oh yeah. Pink box that I showed you. Oh, put it away. Well, look at you. See, if, if you made me work more, I'd talk less, wouldn't I? Leaking. <laughs> it is good telling. No, no <laughs> talking and me ironing. So oh, they're not done yet. I've got, there's a few. Where's here. the dodgy one? I'm just redoing the oh, dodgy good. one. The book.
Right, um, if you have got this book in your basket, you've got that book in your basket now, it did sell out last time, just to warn you. I've got plenty, I've got plenty, but I thought I had plenty of all the other things earlier that started selling out. So please, please, please be careful. And you look at what? Oh, yes. The sewing box that's in front of me there <laughs> is fantastic because not only do you get the sewing box, you get everything that goes in it. Perfect, perfect gift. Now, I don't want to be talking about Christmas, obviously, but what a fantastic Christmas present it would be. You have a look, right? So you get the kit. Oh, there you go. There's a still of it there. So you get the, the sewing basket. You get the scissors. You get the tape measure. You get two lots of pins, you get the needles, you get the thread pack, and that lovely uh, pin cushion which goes on your wrist, all for 29.95, I think it is. Yeah, I get 29.95. I, you know. Be, oh, you know what? It'd be fantastic if you're doing a, a, a Christmas present. I don't want to talk about Christmas. If you're doing a present, wrap all the pieces up separately. Looks like you've really gone to town on them, doesn't it? Oh. oh. The thing oh. is, well. if you're a crafter, though, that likes to make presents, um, you do need to think about Christmas about now, I think. Well, I, re you I regularly make Christmas stockings. Well, I have, well I have to say, on, I was flicking through the channels the other day, and one uh, shopping channel was selling Christmas decorations. They weren't going to making them. They were selling them Christmas lights and things like that. And then another one was making Christmas cards. And there were three. There were three that mentioned Christmas. And I was like, oh, my word, it's still June. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, actually, I must remember to order my shirts. That's the point. So I'm just chatting to myself here while I'm doing my ironing. I have to for ne next week. We oh, what day is it? I better alter them to much tonight. Hmm? I went, hmm? Like Joanna, L not Joanna, Audrey. Audrey <laughs> Roberts. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> You know what I mean, don't you? Mm? It's the Audrey Roberts noise. It's because Hannah's witching away to me and I didn't hear it, so I go, mm? Well, I've fallen behind. Sh root I'm shutter. just trimming away the dog ears. Okay. No. And once the flying geese are done... I'm okay. oh, sorry, sorry. You know the... Oh, I've, I've pushed away. You know the pink... Oh, show, show the still, show the still. Uh, we're now limited. We're now limited on the storage box. We're now limited on the storage box. £47.95. pence. Uh, people are multi-buying, just so you know. Oh, well, we'll definitely have to order it again. That would be a brilliant Christmas present, wouldn't it, that one? Oh, shush, John, shush. What's that one there, then? I think that might have been... No, no, I've got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, ironing's throwing me, you see. I'm only used to doing sleeves. And shirt fronts these days. You see, even the ironing's therapeutic, isn't it, when you do things like this? It is, I quite like. I don't particularly, I don't like ironing shirts. No. But patchwork is fine. Are you, t you know your boys that love, uh, that love sewing, have you taught them to iron yet? No. That's what you need to do next. You wouldn't? I wouldn't trust them yet with something. How old are they again? Well, maybe the 10 years. Well, oh, no. My eldest is 10 on... This weekend. Oh, you're all ready for it. He'll be at school, isn't it? What day is it? Yeah, no, it's on su it's his birthday's Sunday, so... Uh, his what? His birthday's on Sunday. 25th of June, he's pitched it just right for even well, that, presents, Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah. 25th of December. I don't think he planned that. I don't think he had any choice in that matter. I wouldn't well, they put do it past say him, you know. We choose our parents, <laughs> don't they? Um, uh, uh, but you're all ready for it, because he's, he's turning 10, is he, this, he this is. week? <gasps> Double figures. Oh, that's when I stopped getting birthday cakes. When I was little, we used to have birthday cakes with the uh, big birthday cakes with a number of our birthday, you know, and they were really, really big squidgy cakes and everything. Then when you get to ten, you never got a birthday cake again. That's it. In but fact, my mum completely forgot my eighteenth birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we were, I was working at Browns of Chester as a Saturday. In fact, I was Mr. Caribbean Connection. That's Ooh. another story. <laughs> and. Um, 
Uh, she came down the stairs because we were working in the same place. It was Brown's Chester in Chester, and she was management. And we came down. The, she came down the stairs, and everyone was making fuss of me. She was like, "What's going on? What's going on?" <laughs> and then it's John's birthday. She went, oh, yeah, of course it is. And then she went, okay, went back. I've oh, just brought this down from my office. It was our like birthday card with a little present, only a little black like, gift in it. Thing. And the birthday card was still wet. You know, she just licked it. <laughs> anyway. Well, my mum did cake. Oh, don't she'll be watching. All right, Helen. Hello. She ran a business um, decorating cakes for a good few years. Oh, she's very talented. So I never one. got a birthday cake. Oh, <laughs> she was making them for everyone else. Yeah. Couldn't you get the reject ones? Um, some t well, like on EastEnders last night, where oh, I better not say in case you haven't watched it. Spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. So I've got five pairs. I'm going to sew them together into pairs. Right. And you want to make sure that the point of the triangle lines up nicely with the seam. You don't want to lose. You want to keep it as a triangle. You want to, you want to knock the top off. Yes, yeah. So when you sew, it's So easy. on that side, yeah, then, yeah. so you can see where yeah. the seam is. So I get rid of these. Well, these are going to be animal eyes in the next project. <laughs> I might stuff something with those. She made up for it in birthday cake since. I'm a bit worried now that Helen, you've got a deprived childhood because of Helen. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she'll be swearing at the telly now. She's watching, <laughs> won't she? When are you messing, Helen? It's like the you know the builder never gets around to his own doing his own house. So it's the, it was the same with birthday cake. No, exactly. Well, it's like it's like when I used to be making costumes or clothes for people. I never would either make them for myself or any of my friends or family or anything, because it was just at work, it was my job, you know. Yeah. I used to hate it when it was on films. People would go out come and go, oh, you couldn't just turn up these jeans, could you? <laughs> or you couldn't just put this zip in, could you? And I'm like, so I then had to, I put a price list on my door of my office, going, for turning up with <laughs> jeans, it wasn't for money, it was for, like, wine, <laughs> mainly. <laughs> and I used to smoke in those days, wine or cigarettes or something like that. They had to pay me in kind like that. At uh, 21.95, the book. Brilliant, brilliant book. A thousand, thousand any size quilt blocks by Linda and Rita. Uh, the bundle that we're using here is the fresh bundle, and it's also the most popular bundle. Um, Thirteen pounds and forty-five pence. Oh, I've got more I need to do then. Oh, if you wouldn't mind pressing those no, open, so that would be open great. again, please. We're just getting lots of seams now. And once we're at this stage, it goes together pretty quickly from here. I've not got a very crisp point on that one. Oh, no. Oh, I know. No, or oh, oh, this one. Is that one not so good either? It's brilliant, but it's... it's this one's perfect, this one. Watch me go and scorch it now or burn it. Sorry that we're not saying very much. We're just both concentrating. What can I tell you about while we're here? The button doors. Oh, no, there's the sewing box in front of me. It's fabulous, Twenty nine ninety five. Got another image of the sewing box in front of me. Uh, whatever image you show, I think it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant bundle. Are you waiting, are you waiting for me now? Oh, no, you can do the next one, can't you? I can do the next one. I'll... Uh, there's the still look. It looks like a hamper, doesn't it, there? It's the sewing box, and you get scissors, pins twice, uh, needles, uh, tape measure, thread, and the... Um, Pin cushion that goes on your wrist. I nearly said on your lap then. Don't put it on your lap, whatever you do. I always think you look like a proper serious sewist if you've got the pin cushion on your wrist. Oh, do you? Mm. Can you, if you're an ironer, is it the same if you're an ironer? <laughs> I think so. Yes, it's <laughs> like wearing a Rolex or high brand watch, sorry, high brand watch. <laughs> Right, hang on, I've, 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 that one. Right, okay. So you've ironed all those out. 
into pairs. Have I done them all now? One, two, it's three. Just four. that one. Just that one. So you've got your five pairs. What comes next? It helps now to just lay the block out as it's going to be when it's finished, just to make sure everything's going to be in the right place, really. All right. Oh yes. So you've got so you've got the flying geese. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, because there's three going that way. And then what have you got? You've just got triangles at the end. These triangles are the same size as these ones yeah. here. And then there's the larger ones, which are quarter square triangles from a three inch finished square. Yeah. Would fit in. I do have another one of those somewhere. Here it is. Uh, this is the uh, fresh, it's called fresh, this one. Uh, the railroad crossing quilt block. You get three half meters, you get the, the leaf, the peppermint and the um, jade, half a meter of each of those for 13 pounds and 45 pence. And the book across the bottom, 21 pounds and 95 pence, but it does come with a CD-ROM, remember the book. Uh, right, so where do you sew next then? Now I fixed this block, joined this block together by firstly doing this central bit. So I joined all these together and they're all going in the same direction. direction. Oh, actually, I've now got the details. So you've got jade, spearmint. Oh, that's right. And then the, the other one is called Free Spirit Rohan Leaf Pattern from the Ghost Range by Nell Watmore in green. It's a lot of words for a very simple pattern, isn't it? So, put that one on. Yeah, I've got a headache today. Have you? Yeah, I don't know why. All this work I've done on the iron. Sorry, I won't make you iron again. No, I said no more ironing. There might be a bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can do it if you want. No, I'm all right. So it might be the l'assistant. I think one day I have to make something, don't I? Really. Did you know we're not here in rehearsals when we made things in rehearsals? We're just uh, what Timothy's saying he's never seen me make anything, but in rehearsals, before all the ge guest experts arrived, we all had to pretend. So Natasha would be presenting, and I'd be a guest, or I'd be presenting, and Natasha would be a guest. And then when Natasha wasn't here, Hannah would be the guest. I should have kept some of those to show, shouldn't I? What did you make? Uh, she made blocks, quilt blocks, and um, she did, you did a bow tie one, didn't you? No, you did the one where you stitched it down and then you cut the top layer and twisted it round. Was that not you? Oh, that was... <laughs> yeah, Hannah would love an actual guest now. What did you do then? No, either side of the line. She did Quilt Block of the Month from one of the magazines. She pretended. And that took, in the chat bit, she had to pretend she was the person. So I said, this is a nice picture of you in this magazine. When was that taken? She's <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so make that central section first. Right. And then join these triangles on here and then pop the side ones on. Okay. And then it should go together. Are I'll these seams are pressed open? Please. I'll try and speed up a bit so we can get to the finished thing. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. I am a bit slow today. <sighs> Right, if you've got the hour before this, uh, Joe, uh, not Joe, Lucy did the nautical uh, quilt bundle. Loads and loads and loads you've got it in your basket. Please make sure if you want it, please check out because there will be disappointment at this rate for some of you. Everything you want in there to make that lovely um, nautical quilt. Oh, yeah, this is only a shorter one this side, isn't it? The pressing mat does get quite hot, though, doesn't it? Okay. My points aren't great on these ones. I'm just trying to... Don't! Do I know, I'm making excuses for myself. Yeah, just say it's my fault. Say I've ironed it, pressed it wrong, incorrectly. 
I mean, that's what I was going to tell everyone afterwards. Well, it was my fault. <laughs> Not really. It's always my fault. One side on. Um, Hannah wants to look at the books again. Where did we get to before? Um, these are nice curved blocks. There's, there's a mem mem member, if you just tuned in, what you get with this book is you get the book for £21.95, uh, but then in the book, there's also at the back there, you see a CD. And what you can do is you can download the patterns for every single one of these blocks and any size that you want it to be. And then you download the pattern and then uh, you make it. Off you go. Gives you all the techniques at the beginning of the book. Some of it's that foundation pieces. There you go, foundation blocks, holiday and celebrations. Now, how can that be a foundation with ears? How does that work? I don't know whether the ear, each ear will be done separately and then oh, they'll be joined course, together. Me. Oh, yes, it will, it will be, I suppose. And the end. Of course, you can't see the seams on these pictures, can you, sir? Another Christmas tree there. There's a Christmas tree on it. No, oh, no, not the Christmas angel. They're black cat. Sorry. Sorry. Father Christmas. There's the other. Oh, no, that's winter pine, that one. Come on, get it right, John. That's Christmas tree. That's winter pine. Because it's got snow on the leaves. Branches. And it's our summer fate in our village tomorrow. It's bound to rain. <laughs> I've been invited to the lady... Uh, lay, uh, lady Quilters of Chipping Camden. I've been invited to their exhibition in September. Got my invite yesterday. I know. And then it just joined along the side. It's important, though, to make sure... I, I, I'm not a big one for pins, but I would pin there to make sure that these seams follow on nicely so you get... Oh, nice which ones are you? Oh, yeah. These ones. So they join... Yeah, because the more you put together, the more seams you've got to um, match, haven't you, really? And that's why these I pressed. That's the one I pressed open. Um, I pressed the seams to one side, but it means here there is a really chunky seam. Right. With several layers, and you would struggle, where you couldn't quilt through that, you'd break your needle. So that's why I've tried pressing them open subsequently, and you do get... Which ones? You, I've, opened, I've done them all open. These ones I made uh, Oh, they made earlier, earlier. okay. That's why I've swapped and done right. Done them open. I'm not going to pin, I'm just going to do this for time. Okay, oh, you're asking for trouble. I am. Got 11 minutes to sew it, so you're fine. Oh, have I? Mm -hmm. um, when are you in next? Tomorrow. Oh, because you, you only came up last night, didn't you? I did. Oh, don't forget the menu today, Han, because I'm not in tomorrow, so I'll do Natasha's menu tomorrow. Oh, there's an advert. Is it the 24th tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, there's an advert. Which is, an advert just went out, didn't it? For tomorrow. Oh, for tomorrow. Yeah. Are you regretting not pinning it now? No, no, I was just making sure the seam underneath had not closed up again. Perfectly pressed, I'm <laughs> doing that. <laughs> Perfectly pressed. If you've got the uh, grab-and-go um, storage box in your basket, please check out. Looks like they're going to sell out today. Oh, not bad. Lots Ooh, of people with things in their baskets. Right, while you're, while you're stitching that, let me do the bundles again. Let me do the bundles again, because uh, it's important to see these before the end of the show. Because they'll have lots and lots and lots to wrap up, won't we? So the one that Joe's using at the moment, which is the best seller, is called Fresh. Fresh. Ah! Now I was doing uh, Savior of the Universe. Oh, that's no, Flash Gordon, not Fresh. <laughs> 
So you get half a metre each of these, the green uh, leaf, the spearmint and the jade for £13.45. Lovely, aren't they? Half a metre each, even if you just buy them for your stash, they'd be nice. Now this one, I've not seen this blue one before. Um, so you get the blue, it's called Ocean. Yeah, I know, don't ask. Uh, beautiful blues there. Let me just open that one because this is a lovely fabric. So you get that much of each one. Um, how many, you've made four, and you can't have got hardly into your fabric stash at all to make four, you know what I mean, to make I these. Didn't you, get, you get three of these, you know, what, the one in the pattern, the one in the pale, and the one in the darker. It's a lot of fabric, isn't it? It is. Mm. Mm. Everybody's making lots of funny noises today, aren't they? Anyway, so that's ocean. That's ocean, those three there. So you get the, the, the leaf one, the pale blue, and the cornflower blue. Oh, I'll lift it up. There you go. Okay, then I've got Au Naturel, except I think it's just called natural. Coffee shop is what I'd call it. I've got the sand spot, I've got the uh, mocha, and I've got the chocolate in there. Oh, I fancy a hot chocolate. No. I, wonder, I wasn't going to stay for lunch today, but I think I might have to. £11.45 for three half-metre pieces. And then last but not least, Blossom. Uh, raspberry spot on. Candy pink and then claret. Half a metre each of those. £11.45. While I'm here, while I'm here, remember, 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 if you've got this in your basket, you need to check out. Look, let's get the blossom bud. Look. Nice. Make a cover for it. Does it need a cover? No. It's lovely. £47.95. Creative options. Large grab and go. Rack system. 47 95 It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We've got a question for Joe from Sandra. Okay. Sandra says... Uh, what do you do for fun, toys or quilting? Quilting, mainly. Yeah, because toys is your job, isn't it? Toys is, yes. It's, it started off as work sewing and fun sewing. And I do quite a bit of fun sewing in work sewing as well. Yeah. Though. But quilting, yeah. But then, it's not just sewing, because you, you go on holiday with your two boys exploring castles and history and all that kind of stuff as well, don't you? It's not 24-7, no. sewing. It feels like it at times. Yes. <laughs> No, I do other things as well. Not right. exercise or anything. Well, no. <laughs> no, no. You're too young for that. Wait till you're a bit older <laughs> to do that. Right, so now, you, if you've made four, because we've, we've made four blocks here. Four, yeah, four blocks. Um, are there different ways of putting them together then? There are, because you can get, I've got the central columns all facing into the centre here. And it, it really gives it movement, I think, sort of these ones follow around and oh, yes. play about but you them. could almost do it like that way around then they're all going in the same direction so when if you now would you put a sash in between or would you join them together like that i think i'd join them straight together but you could you could sash them couldn't you i think that would look nice as well oh, and in different colors might be nice to oh yes exactly well, have you got some of this left over i'm just going to have a look at this oh i'm just seeing if you've got um You, oh, no, I see. They, they could, like, could look quite nice sashed as well, don't they? They do. I mean, this small size would be perfect for a cushion. Yes, exactly. But I think if you make them into a, big, into a bigger one, um, because you could just keep going and going and going with it, couldn't you? You could. And you, they sort of look like multiplication signs. Oh, yes. But then from further away, you do the, sort of the flow of the geese. Yes. Sort of takes your eyes. I think that it's a great design for movement. It's not a static looking craft yes, no. at all. Well, I also think that if you made a, a green one, a pink one, a net natural one, and a bl you know, blue one, you could mix and match it within the quilt as well, you could. couldn't you? I mean, these are the small ones, so these are quite fiddly, but yes. the larger you go, the easier it gets. But that's the option with this book, isn't it? So you've got um, a thousand, it's called a thousand any size quilt blocks, because... Um, what you do is you get the book, in the back there's a CD-ROM, put it in your computer, you can print up 
the blocks, the, the templates for the blocks, uh, being whatever size you want. So um, Joe did a six, this is a six inch finished, but you could do, so that's a six inch finish there. But you could do a nine inch, 12 inch, whatever you wanted to. If you wanted a big, bold look, then you could do that, couldn't you? You could. And there's so many, I mean, I really struggle to pick one design. And, oh, well, and the, the star ones as well. The thing I is, love. there's a thousand. You're going to have to sit down and work your way through the book and work out which your favourites are, what you'd want to make for. Otherwise, you're going to start one off and then flick through the book and go, oh, we should have done that one now. You know what I mean? It can, all that. But it's also, not only has it got the blocks, it's got techniques at the beginning as well. Oops. See, it's got all this before you begin. All about four patch, nine patch, everything like that. And there, there's all the different um, categories you've got doing, but going down there. Four patch, five patch, stars, four patch. Oh, sorry. So you've got four patch and five patch. Then you've got stars, four patch and five patch, and nine patch. You've then got nine patch, curved blocks, foundation blocks. And then in the foundation blocks, you've got pictures, flowers, trees, fruits, and veggies, stars and pinwheel, holidays and celebration, letters and numbers, and patchwork. And it's just got so much. And then, as I said, you've got your CD at the back there. Pop that into your computer and choose your pattern out of your block and what size you want it in. It's just a fantastic book. Now, last time we had this on, I think it was on with Joy, wasn't it, last time? Sold out. Sold out completely for £21.95. What I'd be tempted to do is do one of each blocks of all my favourite designs and make a quilt that was ooh, oh. compiled of all different blocks because you can get... You print them out to the size you want, so they'll all be a matching size. Oh, yes, I think I'd do that. Yeah, that was a bit like in the first hour today, Lucy made um, the sunrise. Uh, was it called sunrise? Sunshine. But then that was, in the book, it said, make one sunshine, make one... Di you know, it had all the different things, and it looks... It's kind of exciting, especially for if you make it for a child, because you've got different things to look at the whole time, haven't you? You're going to see new things all the time. Yep. Oh, blimey, Joe, that was brilliant. So what are you doing tomorrow? I'm oh, doing circus. Oh, actually, let's do the menu and then we can talk after that, can't we? Because some of these will be... I forgot, I just realised that you're... we've got a menu, haven't we? I'll just turn this iron off because I've just put my face on it. Uh, blue sky cushions. That's not you. See, I'm going to be in early tomorrow. Then you've got monkey business, uh, which is coming up at nine o'clock. So you're making a monkey tomorrow, then? I'm doing the Tilda monkey. The oh, Tilda fabulous, monkey lovely. Ten o'clock kits for kids. I is there another guest on or is it just Natasha on her own, those two hours? And then, oh, you know, it is, it is, it is, it is, because she's made the jacket, hasn't she? If you see her, if you follow her on Facebook, you'll have seen the jacket that she's made for that hour. Then 11 o'clock, a boho pom-pom cushion. It's did you know you're making one of those? I, I, I did. It's um, a beautiful design. It's um, weekend sewing projects, um, but it has a Dresden plate. Dresden, uh, we never get to do Dresdens, do we? Um, we love the Dresdens. I mean, Hannah I never Dresden. gets to a Dresden. Shall we come in tomorrow? We'll come in tomorrow. No, we can't. We can't. We'll watch. <laughs> we'll watch it on that. Uh, right, thanks ever so much, Joe. Oh, thank you. Uh, right, now, don't forget, this sewing box, £29.95. Premier today. You get everything that's in it there. Fantastic Tahitian treat. Look, scissors, needles, two lots of pins, tape measure, um, wrist, wrist pin cushion. I missed something out. There's something else in there as well. Oh, thread pad, thread pad, thread pad. All that for £29.95. We had that incredible storage box, you know, the pink storage box. Really, really amazing. Lots and lots and lots of these growing. I need to say before I go that lots of you need to check out your baskets. That's for everything today. Lots of people with baskets. Fabrics, quilt kits, um, bundles, uh, this, that storage box, and this uh, sewing, the sewing box. There's that storage box, £47.00 and 95 pence. Oh, I've still got 20 seconds left after doing all that. Anyway, thanks ever so much. Thank you. Um, when am I in next then? What day is it today? It's got my, I've got my village fate tomorrow. Oh, I'm in on Monday. I'm in on Monday. I'm not in Saturday and Sunday. I'm in on Monday. Thanks ever so much. Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing pattern thingy me on my own on Monday. I'll see you on Monday. Thanks ever so much. Lee. Enjoy Natasha tomorrow. She'll be here at 8 o'clock in the morning. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing, work we create and love. Join us on Facebook, simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts.